Can I like myself? No. I'll hold out. Two different colours. Oh, yeah, that's good. That is better. Hi, everybody. Welcome to KPJP Florida. How is everybody today? And as you can see from my thumbnail, we were going to be baking and you can come in and drop your link and connect with people. Should be live. Just checking. And my door's going to slam. Dog's fault. Why am I not live? It says I'm live, but I can't see that I'm live. Your channel. Where am I live then? <laughs> Definitely not live. Hey, Roly, how are you? It says I'm live, but I cannot see myself live. Wait a minute. I just see Roly Ray. There I am. Cool. Just so I can see it on here. How are you doing? You had internet issues today, Roly. It kept going out. Hi, the Jerobel Trio. How are you doing? Yeah, you had real bad issues this morning. Sorry, Roly, that I couldn't stick around. I did stick around and I came back, but then it, it, all the internet went again and I was just like, I don't know what's going on. Oh, I'm on my iPad. I've just been right someone. Thank you. Hi, Jennifer Wolf. How are you? I've just given you a blue jacket. How's it going? Come on in, everybody. Urban Cook, how are you? How's it going? <laughs> so, making. I know you're not sweet tooth, but I'm making chocolate fondant. Oh, yes. Chocolate fondant. Yum. Never made it before. Thought I'd give it a go. Why not? Why not? How has everybody been? Everybody good? Everybody happy? Monday morning. See everybody's been busy supporting everybody else this morning. That's really nice. Urban Cook, I'm talking to you. Oh, let's turn this around a little bit. It's not my normal setup, so um, I've got my iPad rather than my Mac because I'm uploading a video for later today. Yes. Um, yum, 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 looks delicious. Linda Franks, hello, thank you, darling. Um, Jennifer Wolf is a newly monetized channel. Oh, well done, Jennifer Wolf. How, how exciting. Well, you're doing the right thing. You're coming in, supporting everybody else, and then everybody else will make sure they come and support you too. Hi, City Girl, how are you? Oh, okay, says Steve. <laughs> Oh, this is just going to do my head in. Right, let me just, hi Red Roots, PH. I need to set this up so that you can see what I'm doing. I'll put you on top of my toaster, but I'm thinking I might lower that now. because It's just not happening. Maybe. OFW, how are you doing? Oh, loads of people. <laughs> Rowley, Urban Cook, I'm in your channel, my everything, hi my everything, my journey, how are you doing? OFW, have you changed your name? Uh, Red Ritz, hello, how are you doing? Um, if you've got a jacket, just drop your link, that's cool, thank you for thumbsing up on the way in. Lovely, I've got nine, oh yeah, I've got ten thumbs up, so that's good. Jennifer Wolf, hi to everybody. Just see when people come straight in and ask for a jacket. Right, okie dokie, I'm going to put this down because it's, you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. Let's move this. Hold on a minute, guys. I'm just going to move you down here. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see what I'm baking. There we go. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Here we go. You sort of see some of it. I don't know what it's going to look like until you sort of go live and then you can see. 
Um, red Rick, I'm good. Well, good. I'm glad you're okay. Madden Young, how are you doing? Silly Girl, Sheila Pinky, thank you for saying I've got my kitchen. Oh, look, the yellow matches my yellow. That looks quite nice, actually. I've got a little um, uh, filter on as well. <laughs> Makes that look a little bit better this morning. Um, how is everybody? Oh, we've lost people already. They came in, they went out. Now, do you know, if you don't stay in a house for at least two minutes, that light doesn't count. So people, stay in for at least two minutes and then go. If you're in someone's house less than two minutes, the light doesn't stick and YouTube take it away. Why tea? So be nice, people. Be kind. Ah, oh, that's good. Med, 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 med. <laughs> good. Med. ready, getting all the spoons ready, and if you just come in, the Jerobel Trio, love the top, thank you. It's a little bit big, but it's cosy. Need cosy today, because the weather's taking a turn in the UK, and um, ah, this is what we're making today. If you're just coming in, and you want to drop your links, please go ahead and drop your link. But if you want to come in and have a chit-chat, have a chit-chat, and I'm making chocolate fondant as well. So, You've got three things you can do when you come into my house. You can chit chat, you can drop your link, or you can just watch. You can really do four things, really. Do as many things as you want. <laughs> do as many things as you want in my house. Um, Urban Cook, Roly, I will follow you all. Roly, you can drop your link if you want. Uh, group four, The Win, hello, how are you? Just give you a blue jacket. City Girl, hello, Group four, The Win. Right. I am going to start getting some of this off. Some of this is going. Right, you can see some of it. On the way, City Girl. Love your Mickey shirt. Thank you very much. Thank you for saying that, Sheila Pinky. Thank you, darling. I love it too. It's from the Disney store in the UK. Yes, it's, it's online actually, Disney Online. Um, how is everybody? It's good, just drop your links everybody. You can all drop your links or you can chit chat or you can just watch me make some yummy food today. All up to you, but great if you could share me out on your community tabs if you've got them in YouTube, in YT. Um, and just share us out and we can all have a great party, can't we? We can all have some fun. Um, I've got no music today because I'm on my iPad because I'm just uploading a video. Right, okie dokie. So what do we need to do? We need... If you follow me and you're always with me, that's my mum. She always rings when I go live, doesn't she? <laughs> Hold on a minute. on mute. No, off mute. She always rings every time when I'm alive. I'm like, ah! Right, okay, so what we need to do, we need to get the ramekins. We're going to get the ramekins. Hey, Blood Dragon, how are you today? Drop your link. Grim4, where's Fin Fam? Fen Fam, they're working. They're probably working today. Um, can I get a little help in a goal? Very close to 800. Hi, Yasmin, how you doing, girl? 
Well, I tell you what you need to do, Group 4, you need to drop your link like you've done, visit everybody's house who's here, and then they will visit you back. How you doing, Yasmin? Uh, the Urban Cooks connected now with Roly. So awesome. So I need to go and find some more of these. Blood Dragon, I'm good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Nice weekend, chillaxing in the beautiful sunshine. Did a couple of vlogs, had some technical issues with the equipment that I use, which was a bit frustrating, but now all good. Great, thanks, Han. How are you? Yeah, really good, Han. Really good. Well, making chocolate fondant for the first time. Let's see a picture. Chocolate fondant. This is what I'm attempting to make today. Yasmin, how's the wedding preparations going? Uh, Grim4 says, hi Dragon, I see you around a lot. Jennifer Wolf still here. Don't forget guys, share this out, put it on your community tab, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, just share it out. And then the more people get in, the more people we can party with. Right, I'm just going to get some more ramekins. A big clean up at the weekend. You know what happens when you have a big clean up? You don't know where you put anything. <laughs> oh, wedding plan is on hold for a bit. We still need a lot of money. Yes, by the sounds of it, with the lovely ideas that you have. Oh, that's a shame. And then Blood Dragon said he is everywhere. Everywhere. So make sure you're talking nice things because he is everywhere. <laughs> Right, mix the cocoa powder and flame power, flame, plain flour in a bowl and sift a little into each mould, rolling them around to coat the base and sides and shake out any excess. Okay. So I need to get another bowl. Goodness sakes. Uh, still here, my everything, my journey. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for coming in today. I appreciate that. Uno pinky bowly. Right. So we need. Oh, it's not even that much. Oh my goodness. So it's one, one tablespoon of plain and cocoa powder. Uh, pinky, I've left your package. So one cocoa powder, one. Right, so I don't even need that. So, tablespoon of plain. I love cocoa powder. Mmm. Who else loves cocoa powder? Oh, she smells delicious. I didn't even sift it, so there wasn't any point. So, I'm going to mix it around. A little character. Do you know who I need? I need Praslin. Praslin Cooking Channel. Hi Ruth, how are you? How's it going? Hey KP, is Mickey Mouse your fave? I don't really have a favourite. Oh, no, it's not going to work. I'm trying to do it so that I can read your messages. I don't really have a favourite. I just like the ethos of um, Disney, the fact that it's inclusive and they don't. Um, exclude anybody or anything that's why i like disney and it makes me behave like a child <laughs> and i just have so much fun when i'm at disney so that's why i love disney mix the cocoa powder in a bowl sift a little roll uh coat around the sides so you don't even you don't even has anyone made chocolate fondant before you have a lot of it i know because I love Disney, as in going to Disney and the whole experience and the, the merchandise you can get. It makes me happy, it makes me fun, it makes me smile. That's why I do it. And why would you not do something that you love and that makes you happy? Hey, 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 hey. Don't forget guys, share this out. 
and yeah just have fun drop your links have fun dudes and dudes hey how are you doing dudes and dudes how's it going today you've been busy this weekend young man dan you've been very busy how's the weather it got downgraded didn't it to just a tropical storm which is a good thing uh yasmin just realised, I remember I was supposed to do the Disney live chat with you. So, so I can put it together. Don't worry about it. Everyone forgot. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We all had a weekend off, I think. Everybody just chilled. Don't matter. It's not a big thing. Do some dudes did a trivia. Didn't you do some dudes? Hurricane Tropical Storm coming. Oh, it's still coming. Uh, cut the grass, errands, etc. Oh, bless you. I missed your trivia. I just... Um, yeah, just uh, got things to do this weekend. It was a busy time. You know when um, you see people on here and stuff, it's a bit like on film stars and stuff. You don't really know what's going on behind the scenes, do you? You see this portray this and there's probably a billion things going on in the background. And there is a billion things going on in that little world. It was fun, just a few... I know. It, do you know what? Look at mine today. Um, I went down to four a minute ago. Don't even worry about it, Dan. It's the way of the world. It is what it is, right? Mix the cocoa powder and plain flour in a bowl and sift a little into each mould, rolling them around to coat the base and sides. Shake out any excess. But it doesn't say you have to butter it. <gasps> yes, it did. Oh my God. I was going to say, that does not think right. Good job I read that. Right, let me butter the ramekins. Uh, added my Twitch uh, channel for do. Did you? How cool. Oh, wow, that's a good idea. Hey, tell me, I need to know more about Twitch. Maybe you can do a vlog on Twitch, because I actually um, researched Twitch this weekend a little bit as well. But a lot of people just said it was... I just got that on me for gaming but i do know a channel that uses it for uh hi relax heel calm no i'm on my ipad and i can't see the messages so i have to look at my phone and don't get so touchy i have to look at my phone which is here and i'm trying to bake and talk to everybody else so relax heel calm don't don't get funny just say hi host i'm here i'll see you eventually this might not be immediately um uh, not sure I will add there, maybe do some lives there. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be really cool because, um, like I said, I, I follow a Disney channel and they do dancing and stuff on there, like discos and stuff. And they raid other people as well. It's pretty awesome. Um, hi, today's generation. How are you? Guys, if anyone else has come in and I haven't seen you, just shout up again because I'm trying to bake. I'm trying to chat and it, sometimes I'll miss people and I'm not doing it on purpose. Don't get tough, don't get upset if I'm missing you because I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm just trying to do a lot. I've just messed up already. I put cocoa powder and flour around my ramekins and I didn't even grease it. <laughs> it's Monday. Um, I would love to stream live to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Yeah, that would be cool do it who knows who knows right no harm in trying <sighs> you've got to try these things haven't you thank you so much at yasmin um ruth the urban pick don't forget everybody drop your links you have got the ability to drop your links if you haven't connected with relax skill calm please connect with relax skill calm um, Urban Cook, all connect with each other, Sheila Pinky, Yasmin, some of you may not know Yasmin, she's quite new on the, off the block, and obviously Dudes and Dudes has been around for a little while now, so you should all be dancing with him. If not, take the opportunity to, take the opportunity to get to know each other. 
I saw Fen Fan got the Aussie. Did they? I have no idea. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's better. That's much better. I think I think John was saying that Sim went shopping or something, but um, last night when I went on, I was so busy. I was busy in the house. Then JP, the dog wanted a walk. Then JP wanted to watch Netflix, and it was all just like manic. But that's good. And that bow host, the colour makes me want to have it. <laughs> oh, the bowl, the chocolate. Yes. How delicious. Me too. Make sure we coat it properly because I do not want these babies sticking. I want these babies to be really good. Uh, they were asking me for help, but old biz are. Uh, that's the thing, isn't it? We're all just too busy. But you'd already said about the Osmo before anyway, and um, yeah, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. It just takes a little time to practice and they'll be good with it. We're still waiting to hear if we can fly out to Florida. The flights still haven't opened. So um, I think it's the 24th of this month we're here. If flights are back opening again, we can fly into the US. So we're still waiting, we're still in limbo to hear if we're going on holiday or not. So infuriating. Refocusing on this week as I approach grade eight. Ooh, what's grade eight? What, on YT? You're in the 800s? Oh, I can't bend down like this. I'm trying to think what I could do to lift you up again and that you can still see what I'm doing. I love the stability of it. It's a weird yeah I agree with you I agree with you relax hill calm are you still there you're making me conscious now that you think I'm ignoring you and I'm not but now you're ignoring me <laughs> uh, what freaking stinks I don't know what stinks I've just blah, 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 blah. Heading there now. Oh, yeah, 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 Florida. I know, it's so annoying. I know, you're going. Yes. Oh, how exciting. So you lose to seven, so that's good. But yeah, I know, you're almost at Florida. So Tim Tracker was at uh, Disney Springs two days ago, and he, oh, honestly, I'm just like, JP, come on, let's just buy a business. What, what didn't go bad for um, during this recent COVID was people still needed their grass cutting and people still needed their uh, pools being maintained, okay? Two businesses that you could do without being around people. Admittedly, a lot of you guys in America were furloughed and you didn't have any cash, but you guys would still need your pools cleaned and you guys still, not you because I know you don't have a personal pool but you use a big pool but you guys still need your lawns cut and stuff because your H, HOA stipulates that your gardens still need to keep nice blah 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 so there's loads of businesses like that we could buy and then JP could get a visa to work out there so it's like <laughs> still my plan still my plan Right, okay. Need to melt the chocolate. I've just got some dark chocolate, Billy Basic dark chocolate. So my moulds are all dusted and coated and busted and stuff, so that looking rather yummalicious. And then I need to melt my chocolate. Melt my chocolate. Uh, ow. Uh, do you know what? Another thing that's annoying about flights is they've changed the airport that we're going through. So we have to go through to Heathrow now, which is miles away from where we normally go. It's like an extra hour on our journey. And then Luke, our son, decided he wanted to come to Florida. And the only flight we could get here was with British Airways. And they fly out of Gatwick, whereas we would want to go. So he's going to come out with us on the same day, but he's flying out from Gatwick and we're flying out from Heathrow, which is even more rubbish. So we're going to meet up when we get to MCO. But how annoying is that? It's hard. Still looking for a full-time PMP with a great company, but many places are on a hiring freeze. Yeah. Hi there, uh, Neela's Real. How are you? I've given you a blue jacket so you can drop your link now. Um, 
You want to get back into the impermi, do you? A permanent role, yeah. It's it's very difficult, isn't it? It's infuriating. We never get what we want, do we? <laughs> We we'll never get in life what we want to get out of life. It's that lovely roller coaster, isn't it? The roller coaster of fun. Today's generation, how are you doing? Sheila Pinky, heading to your house. Nilo's, Nilo Real TV, I'm good in you. Yes, very well, thank you. I'm in the kitchen, I'm baking, and I'm chatting to you lovely people. There's nothing can be better than that for me today on a Monday. Um, yeah, I, I'm loving it. I think I might go on until... Oh, it's time to... Mm, I might go on until Sim, the Femme fam, family come on. Right, so I'm going to melt my chocolate. How did your big project go, though, um, Dan? Is it still going? I am permanent now, but I am in more of a technical role. Yeah, I was in a technical role. It's hard work. Just brought by and said, oh, Prasna, I was asking for you earlier, Prasna. I needed some help. Prasna, I was trying to see, if, um, I was trying to read, because I'm doing this, Prasna. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to, um, I was putting the flour and cocoa in here without butter, so I didn't grease them, and I'm like, I need Prasna. <laughs> but thank you for popping in Prasna, I appreciate it. Yeah, chocolate fondant. Never made it, thought it would be a good thing to try. I said about it on Friday, didn't I? We thought we'd give it a go. What's the worst thing that can happen? They burn. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Relax, Hill Calm. You're still here? Good. I was talking to you a minute ago. I'm glad you're still here, Relax, Hill Calm. Drop your link. Just melting that chocolate. Oh, love chocolate. Uh, today's generation, Nilo's Real TV, heading to you now. Um, good. Yeah, I'm st we, it's still going. We go live end of August. Oh, okay. Cool. I love it when a project goes live. Then you have your little warranty period and then you can move on. Hopefully, you can move on to something else, Dan. Love it. The big um, project I was working on was massive. It was I headed up whole telephony services for our massive company. Um, we were going with a brand new provider. Oh, it was the worst project I've ever had to manage. So sensitive. Um, Prasna Cooking Channel. Good night, everyone. Talk to you all very soon. Bye, Prasna. Stella Pinky. I left you a lovely package from Nilo's Real. Right, so we've melted the chocolate, whisked the egg, egg yolks, half the sugar, and half the lime zest together. Blah, 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 blah. Right, so I need to separate my egg yolks. We are moving our membership and financial service systems to cloud. Yeah, ooh, that's a nice juicy one. The lady that I was working with was doing exactly the same thing from all of our um, on-prem to cloud. She's actually gone off sick now because the company I was working for. Anyway, let's not talk any more about that and I'll get myself into trouble. <laughs> Right, so I need three large eggs and three egg yolks. Oh, so what, 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 what? Mix with the eggs, yolks. Right, I need three large eggs. Put that in here. Uh, how do 
happy to say so thin when you're always baking is oh bless you do you donate the paste no we eat them so bad what you can't see <laughs> is the layers under here <laughs> however i was very good today relax heel calm i actually went to the gym in my gym i went on my peloton yeah i know dudes I went on my peloton today and on my running machine. Oh, I did not feel like doing it though. And I actually looked at my peloton and I hadn't been on it for 11 days. Oh, bad. Right, so I need three eggs. So one. But thank you, real eggs. That's a beautiful compliment. Two. You only see this part. <laughs> three. Three eggs. Uh, and some egg yolk in there as well. That wasn't very good. Right, so three eggs and a little bit extra egg, egg yolk. Oh, come on. You know if you get egg yolk in your eggs, you know you just use your shell and it's like a magnet. It takes the spare egg yolk out. You probably knew that, but I'm just letting you know as well. <laughs> And three eggs and three large egg yolks. Right, sure. I want to see my uh, three egg yolks. Yolks. Right. Egg yolks. Whoa, it didn't go very well. One. She uses a lot of eggs, doesn't it? My everything, my journey is still here. This egg does not want to crack. Ugh. I actually don't like eggs that much. I don't mind them. I'm just, yeah. Egg yolks. Egg yolk. Oh, on um, doing the rounds, Facebook or Instagram, and um, there's this guy on YouTube who set up in his back garden this squirrel run. I don't know if anyone's seen it, but it is so funny. He's done a squirrel run around the whole back garden. So what was his, his so what happened was the birds were coming down to obviously get their food from the bird feeder, and then the squirrel was like, Oh, I'm gonna have some of this, and he's quite a scientific mindset. So he was like, oh, this is quite fun. Let's make it a bit difficult for the squirrel. And in the end, he set up this whole run for the squirrel. The squirrel was like, dun, 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 dun. It was so cool. I don't know if anyone's seen it. Uh, hi, Miss Maria Kitty. How are you? You've been so busy, Miss Maria Kitty. What are you? Such a bicky, busy lady. Everybody, Miss Maria Kitty, drop your link and make sure everyone's connecting with you. Lives in Hong Kong. Um, Yasmin, I don't know if you've connected with Miss Maria Kitty, but definitely one for you to connect with. Um, oh, hey girl, you already connected, that's fine. <laughs> it was a good uh, premiere this morning as well. Very good. Right, Miss Maria Kitty, I am making chocolate fondant. Yummy, yum, delicious. So, um, hello, Yasmin. Hey, are you my friend? Yeah, we've connected. She seems so lovely. Wow, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, my phone's going crazy. <laughs> Instagram stitch. Right. Eggs, caster sugar, half the lime in a bowl with electric. When the mixture is powdered and thick, the whisk leaves a trail, your mixture is ready. Then gently fold in the chocolate. Oh, we're nearly done. How cool is this? Oh, we've got to chill them in the uh, fridge. Right, so let's get egg yolks. Egg yolks. Can you see egg yolks? Going in here. Egg yolks are going in there. This is such a simple recipe. Uh, cast of sugar, we need 50 grams. Hardly anything. This is quite a healthy recipe as well then. Yes, always good, thank you so much. How about you, my friends, and how are you? 
We are all good. All good in the hood. Uh, caster sugar, egg yolks. Can you put in the prize now? Are you still here? Egg yolks, caster sugar. Oh, okay, you do it then. I was like, why don't you put in the extra stuff raising flour then? Right, we're going to whisk these up. We're going to mute. Oh my goodness! Hello, Mrs. O. How are you? <laughs> I'm going to give you a coat, which you probably won't know what that means, but it means you can drop your YouTube channel if you want to, and then all these people on here will connect with you. How are you doing, Mrs. O? <laughs> How funny! Hi, enjoying your channel. Thank you so much. Right, so we're making today chocolate fondant. Chocolate fondant for the first time. How strange you're in my channel, but you are more than welcome. And if you want to help grow your channel, if you get your channel URL, copy and paste it down below, and then everybody else will connect with you. And um, it's a mixture of Disney people that have come in today, friends that I've known for quite a while on YouTube, and yeah, connect away, help you grow your channel. And um, I'm. <laughs> Are you sitting there with a cup of tea and a cake? Right, I just got to put you back on mute because it's quite loud when I'm whisking, but I'm whisking together the eggs and the sugar, so two secs. Okay, just give you an update on how this is doing. So it's thickening up a little bit. So what it has to be, if they say, it says pale, can you see it? Pe no, I can't really see it. Pale and thick. And it is getting there. So you're going to have to give me a few more minutes and then this, the fondant, the main ingredient of the fondant dries, will be done. And thank you for saying that about my tiles. They're okay. They're not quite what I wanted. I wanted the white heron bow, but bone. But um, let's not go there. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute, guys.
This looks amazing because isn't this is just sugar and uh, what did I just put in there? <laughs> I forgot what I just put in there. Egg, egg whites, egg yolks, and sugar and a dash of light. You've got to see this. This is amazing. This is phenomenal. Look at that. It's soft, thick, light. And bub look, it's just delicious. I mean, that did take a little while to whisk up, didn't it? But is that thick enough, do we think? It said it needs to be thick and pale. Urban Cook's still here. Um, it needs to, oh, bye, Miss Maria Kitty, by the way. I didn't say it. Bye. When the mixture is pale and thick and the whisk leaves a trail across the mixture... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, I think we're done. This is the first time I've made fondant, so if we go a little bit wrong, we'll know for next time. I'm wondering if you can overmix these things. Urban Cook, do you know if we can overmix it? It leaves a trail. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes, <laughs> just in case. Do we get this far and then it goes all wrong, do we? Now you can hear our loud voice. My kitchen aid is loud. Hi there, the kitchen is cleaning. How are you? Come on in, we're baking, so it's loud. Right, I'm saying that that is done. I don't want to over whisk it and then it becomes thin because you can do that with ingredients. So I'm thinking this is good enough. You see a trail as you, there you go, look, you see it, you can see that it's done that. Ooh la la, mon chéri, it's so exciting. Right, so now what we need to do, we need to gently fold in the melted chocolate. Mm. Let's get the melted chocolate in. Oh, whose mouth is watering? Uh, Despiculous Gaming here. Harris, I've already visited you. Thank you very much for already visiting. If you want to connect with people, just drop your link and get connecting. If you're just here to have a chit chat, you're more than welcome. And um, if you're here just to watch, that's even better. But um, Mrs. O, if you want to drop your link, you're more than welcome because, um, guys, Mrs. O is an interior designer, and her house, woo, you will knock your socks off. Um, right, gently fold in, so I've got to gently fold in with a metal spoon. Okay, so we're gonna gently fold this in with a metal spoon, you see? Gently folding it in. Then what happens is you have to put these in these molds, and then it needs to sit in the fridge for a little while. Might just bypass the fridge sitting. 
If Brad's going to go to sleep, or she's still here. I'm good, and you? Yes, despicuous gaming. Very well today for a Monday. So I'm glad you're okay as well. If you want to share me out, you're more than welcome. I'm not sure if any of your other gaming friends want to pop in and say hi. But the more people we get in, the more people can connect. Right. So that's got a nice chocolatey colour. Ooh, chocolate fondant. Now, don't you just want to go, but I won't because it's raw egg. And I'm not going to do that. Um, so now we just need to put in the self-raising flour, which I'm going to sift in because I've just added loads of air in there. And I definitely don't want to beat that back out. So I need to get 25 grams of self-raising flour. Ooh, I'm excited to see how it's going to turn out. Oh my God, this is going to be exciting. 25 grams. Just 25 little grams. This is what gives it the little cakey taste, you know, to a fondant. Although, it's not really a cakey taste, but it gives you that little bit of thickness. Shaky, shaky, shaky. So what's everybody up to today? Anyone doing anything extra, extra special? And then we just got to fold that in as well. They're not as dark as I thought they're going to be, but maybe you get that from the coating of the flour around your ramekin. Do we all reckon? I reckon. Do you some do? Does your wife ever made these for you? Uh, Yasmin at Despicalous Gaming, thank you so much. Drop your link and I will return. Has anyone ever made chocolate fondant? You know I'm going to dish this up with some yummy ice cream. Mm. La, 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 la. Right. I was hoping we were going to get Fen Fan to do this today, but they're busy, busy working. So it's just you and me, guys. So if anybody checks out that squirrel uh, run thing that's on doing the rounds today, tag me in it, KPJC Florida, on Instagram, Facebook. I am on Twitter, but I don't really use it, but KPJC Florida, I'm everywhere. Tag me, because it is hilarious. Right, guess what guys? We are going in the ramekins. It's happening. We're going in. Get all my mixture from around my edge of my bowl. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Yum, yum, yum. It's a happening. Just boot Ibiza. We're going to Ibiza. I'll do the dance for you, Fen Fan. So, Fen Fan, we're going to Ibiza, guys, next year. That's a lovely feeling, booking a holiday, right? We're all in lockdown. It's all pretty pretty sad at the moment. Well, we're not in lockdown. Mm, we're in semi-lockdown. That's so exciting. You can tell us about it at six o'clock, Sim. Fen Fan, we're on at six o'clock. I'm probably going to go through to six o'clock. So if you want me to raid you, Fen Fan, I'm happy to raid you. If I've got anyone left in the house. I always say that. Right, can you see this, guys? Oh. Did you see that? Oh, you should hear it. It sounds light and fluffy. I'm salivating. I do not know how far you're meant to fill these up. Hi, Joker. How you doing? <laughs> oh, my God. I bet these will explode. Oh, hang on a minute. I've just spotted that it's got a bit of flour not mixed in. KP. Oh, KP. You'd think, with my KitchenAid, well actually it was my own arm, wasn't it, that didn't do that very well. I can't blame the KitchenAid. I can only blame my arm. That's a lot of flour. Might have to, mm. I don't know if this is going to work now. That's a lot of flour. Hold on a minute. These are a lot darker at the bottom than it is at the top. Right, I need another ramekin. 
Hold on. Hold your horses. I think we've got a failure on our hand. Just saying. Not being negative. It's just it's a lot darker at the bottom than it was on, whoop, than it was on the top. Okay. Well, I'm going to put these in the oven. I'm going to preheat the oven now. Preheat the oven, 180. just get them in and I've got one more to do Woo -hoo -hoo. I want to taste one how's everybody out there are you enjoying this so if you're just joining we are making a fondant chocolate fondant not just any fondant chocolate fondant that's what we're making today on today's last stream and then they're stunned that was so quick and simple I feel like I've forgotten something, but I don't think I have. 180, my fave number, this is the Urban Cook. 180. Do you play darts? Is that one of your things, Steve? My thing, my journey says yummy to right. Yum delicious. Right, Alexa, set timer, five minutes. Good old Alexa. Nice. Starting now. Alexa, volume three. Wow, she was loud. Uh, you didn't answer me, Steve, so I'll take it as no. Ruth is still in the house. Getting myself a stool. So depending on how these come out, these will be a stable part of my uh, repertoire, I think. You all right, Ruth? No, everything goes in the oven at 180. <laughs> 100 and net. Fair enough. It is a good temperature. Generally cakes, I do 140 or 160 though. Try, try and do a 140 so they don't go too mad. I'm looking forward to see what these are going to look like when they come out. But look, that's what they're looking like in here. They smell delicious as well. They smell really yummy. Yum delicious. Yep, Ruth is still here. Keep dropping the links, everybody. Keep connecting. Right, it's coming up to tea time for us as well. So I thought I would make a tuna bake. Urban Cook, got any tips for me? A tuna and sweet corn, urban, urban. <laughs> a tuna and sweet corn bake is it? tuna sweet corn cheese bake. Are they for dinner, Miss O? Yeah. Um, Mrs O, maybe I should drop one over to you. <laughs> they will be. The thing is, it's only JP and I here. Link's gone out for the day. So yeah, but I'm sure they could probably. Bake for 11 minutes until the sponge is dry, risen. Uh, using a folded dry tea towel, oven gloves, protect your hands, loose the chocolate from the. Oh, it says it. Oh, it says serve immediately. That's okay. So, what we'll do, we'll take one up to JP after we've done, done one. Hi, Tine. After we've done one, we'll take one out. Please, do they look <laughs> We'll take one up to JP as soon as they're done. I'll take one out of the ramekin and then um, serve it up with some ice cream and whip it upstairs. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So nice. They smell so delicious. Yes, so uh, tuna and pasta and sweet corn bake. Hi, Tine. How are you? How are you doing today? Yes, me and it uh, dis, dis, oh, I can't read. I can't read today. 
gaming, return to bracket. I can't read, it's Monday, it's too much for my little brain today. I was just thinking if I had another little ramekin or something to put this one in. Hello Tanae, good to see you. Ben Fam's here as well. In the background, because she's doing a lesson. All here, all here and present. Oh, hi there, watching from Singapore. How lovely, cooking tips. Well, we're just making chocolate fondant and I'm just preheating my oven and then the chocolate fondants are gonna go in and we'll see if they turn out okay. I had a little bit of an issue with my mixing. <laughs> User error. Hey, Nature Cat fan, wakey, wakey. Don't forget to give this live stream a lovely thumbs up when you're coming in, guys, because it helps me with the YT algorithm, search me in all the videos and it puts me to the top. Come on, <laughs> it doesn't really. Well, no, it does, but I won't be at the top. Um, Nature Cat, how are you doing? You also know how to bake. I do, yes. Well, only through books. I'll just go through what the recipe says <laughs> and hope for the best. But yes, I love to bake. These are chocolate fondants that we're gonna put in the oven in a minute. I'm so excited. I actually need to take a picture. Let me just take a picture while I'm here. Let me just do that. And then let's do that. And let's do that, that, that. It all goes on the old Instagram page, doesn't it, girls and guys and boys and girls and everybody? Thank you, Chris, Monty, Vaughn, how are you? What, oh, welcome to the live stream today. It's Monday. We've got chocolate fondant being made today. Chocolate fondant. Alexa, cancel. And then we need one for 11 minutes. So Alexa, set timer, 12 minutes. They're going in, guys. Wish us luck. in the oven. Now we need to just hope they rise. Hi Nature Cat fan. And not only do they rise, that they don't stick to the side of the ramekins. And also, yeah, I think that's just the two things and that they don't burn. I know Mrs. O. <gasps> oh, it's so nerve wracking. So nerve wracking. Nature Cat fan, how is Florida today? Is it okay with the weather? Is it calmed down a little bit? And Chris Montibon, how are you doing? And the Jonah Bell Trio at Yasmin Robinson left you a beautiful cupcake. All you gotta do is frost it. How exciting. Tanae is still in the background giving us a virtual cuddle. Oh my gosh. Everything's back to normal. Oh, Nature Cat fan, that's awesome. And did your dad have a nice birthday? And was it your granddad as well? Everybody's having birthdays in your little world. The Jerobel Trio, done to you, says do's and do's. Mrs. O, when people say done to you, that means that they've um, gone to their YT channel, YouTube channel, and they have um, subscribed, liked, and left a beautiful message under their recent um, video update, which is what they're dropping here. And it's a, just a way of people getting to connect with each other and helping the small, as channels are so small, it's just helping each other grow if you're interested in the content. So for example, our content is Florida, it's good. Chocolate fondant 
they are forming, not rising, but forming. So we will see. Yasmin, did you go to, um, you said you went to the Disney store, you went to Blue Water. Did you do your video? And is your video up yet, Yasmin? I am going to go to, hopefully tomorrow. I had camera issues this weekend. My memory card, um, hi Declan fan 2020, how are you? So my, my memory card was brand new, expensive, brand new one. But my memory card reader, which is about three years old, corrupt my old memory card and my brand new memory card. So at the weekend, we did an awesome, uh, like it's a knockout event in the back garden with Luke. And I did my fudge, Disney fudge, chocolate fudge. I know. And my memory card reader corrupt my data. Oh. So frustrating. If you're a vlogger like you guys are, or if you're a content maker and something like that happens, it's the most painful, excruciating time. It just really is. So we've lost all that footage, so I just get a brand new reader and a new memory card, and thank goodness it worked. So I vlogged yesterday almost an all day clean and tidy of the kitchen. <laughs> So every time I was organising and cleaning, Luke came in, then organised cleaning again, JP came in, and then it was just like, oh my God, it turned out to be a whole day event. So I started at 11 in the morning, and I think I finished last night at nine o'clock. So I'm mopping the floor, and hoovering and mopping the floor, pitch black, so it must have been, yeah, 8.30, 9 o'clock. And then it's just taking me this morning three hours to edit. Yeah, so if you're coming into YT and you think it's easy and you think you're gonna make loads of money, it's you guys, you guys. It's crazy. Thank you, Dan. I know. Dan, it'd be like you going to Disney, doing all your recording, getting home to edit it, and it's all gone. Or there's an issue, there's an issue. you'd be like, well, actually, it'd probably be quite cool, Dan, because it'd be like, oh, I'm going to have to go back to Disney and record it all again. Thank you, Steve. Urban Cook, I know. I can't get it back, and I said to Luke, do you want to redo the video and stuff in the garden? And he was like, no. Hi, JP. Look, JP, look in the oven. Chocolate fondant. Okay, but are you managing it? Are you watching it? Yeah. Is it going to fall Alexa's out? managing it for me. They look really good, guys. JP's come down, so the kettle's going on. Sorry for the noise. Origin. Red Ribs, PH, and Declan Fan, gaming you a full wonderful gift. Ruth at gaming, hello. Yeah, Steve, when I think things like that happen, it's just pain. Oh my god, I've already been on here over an hour. Oh, I love it when you come on a live and you're chit chatting so much or doing stuff and then it's already gone over an hour. Are you guys all alright? Are you enjoying this? Um, Declan Fan 2020, I'm coming. Yasmin, what's for dinner tonight? Give me some inspiration. I am making tuna, sweet corn, cheese, baked food. That's what I'm going to do in a bit. Four o'clock, I'll start that. Right, it won't take long, will it? Four thirty, I'll start that. <laughs> oh my goodness! I've got a recipe because JP gets a bit worried when I'm cooking that I don't use recipes. I don't know why you'd be worried, do you, JP? <laughs> yeah. You just go off piece. But they always taste okay. You're gonna make some chicken and rice with some veg. Nothing, yeah, nothing special, I know. We, JP, made a chicken tikka uh, yesterday. Tandoori bake. Tando sorry. Tandoori bake yesterday. And he got a recipe off of YouTube. It was awesome. So he, individual pieces of chicken grilled under the 
grill and then baste them and then we've got ghee we actually got some ghee and then we sliced up the onions tomatoes laid them red onions and white onions and tomatoes the big tomatoes laid them on a bed underneath the rack with the chicken on top put a little bit of ghee on that then marinated the chicken again put it in the oven under the grill so all the flavors went underneath hot heated up hot uh pan and then served it like you would get in an, in a takeaway oh my gosh it was delicious the only thing that could have made it better <laughs> was some naan a nice bit of naan or um some japatis oh, that would have enhanced it even better but um, even more should i say I go back to work on Wednesday as well after five months. Oh no, Yasmin, I'm feeling zero motivation to cook today. Oh, was you furloughed then? Oh gosh. That's quite scary, isn't it? My effing, my journey's still here. Oh my gosh, I've got to show you these. Hang on, let me unplug you. Are you ready, guys? Ignore my oven, it's dirty, but look. Oh my gosh, don't you dare do this to me, Whitey. Whitey. Yeah, furloughed. Oh. Oh my gosh, guys, can you see me still? What is going on? <laughs> now the camera's funny. Did you see those? Didn't they look amazing? And then I, I killed the camera, sorry. Yeah, they do look good, don't they? Oh my gosh, what is going on? Hold on, we won't do that again. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, it says it's reconnecting. Please don't die. Do you remember when this happened to me last time? It was on my Mac, but luckily StreamYard brought us back to where we were. Oh, they look amazing, right? One minute left. Um, hi Joker, Ruth, yummy, my everything yummy. Um, what are you filming your live on? Uh, just normal YouTube on my iPad. And it's my iPad today. Usually I do it on my Mac, but it's my iPad. Um, furloughed. Oh no, Yasmin, I feel for you. I wouldn't want to go back either. Check out my latest video. Mr. Joker's got a latest video. Right, how long have we got, Alexa? One minute. Oh, I'll we'll just wait one more minute. Be patient. No, Alexa, cancel second timer. <laughs> oh, Yasmin. Is it in an office? Are the air conditioning units up to standard? Because they were saying that if the air conditioning units stay on, it could, you know. It makes me realise that I don't want to work in care anymore. I want to be with YouTube and work. Ah, oh, exactly, Yasmin. Do you have the opportunity, Yasmin, to not go back? It's in a deaf home. I work with deaf on your property. Oh, no. Well done, you. Wow, that takes a lot of love and courage and support. Well done, you, Yasmin. How is your channel doing, Yasmin? I can't look because this is reconnecting. And I'm on my thing. No, I have to go, but it's such bad pay and I really don't enjoy it anymore. Oh, I feel for you. You need heat 700. Alexa, stop. Two sets. Oh, no. One has sunk, the rest are still fine. Let me take a picture. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'll show you because I don't want to bring it back over again. Look, one is oh, one is sunk. The rest are okay. Oh my gosh. The rest look like this. So we'll just give it a few minutes and then we'll take one out. I need to bring you back up because I can't see comments. Um, the Urban Cook, um, I'm trying to, I'm going to try, I wish I had the confidence to do this five years ago. Oh, yes, and you never, never regret. Never regret and take everything that you've got now, all your um, knowledge, and just go forward and just do everything you can do now, yeah? Don't even worry about it. Quick shake some ice and sugar over them. <laughs> exactly, Mrs. O. Um, so Urban Cook says you have the views. Do you, Yasmin? I haven't been to yours and I can't go to it today because of these two devices. Um, Yasmin, thanks, Peg. No, 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 just cool. I don't regret anything in life. However, there's one thing, one thing that I do regret, Yasmin, and that's that I never recorded our holidays. So from the time the little boys, our little boys, we just started taking them to Florida and everywhere, we never recorded it and I just, you know, I don't regret anything in life except because it's, I just think, oh, I could have recorded them and I could have put them on YouTube. Bye Declan fan, thank you for popping in. I appreciate your thumbs up and your time. I hope you got some bananas. And um, yeah, I just hope, um, I don't know what I hope. I, <laughs> um, Yasmin, but it will be fine. You will, do good like I said to you you've got the perfect look you've got the perfect setup um, you are at the right age that you're gonna hit the right um, population you're gonna get the right audience right I'm gonna turn one of these out uh, urban cook I'll get back to you yeah I know it's so true filming holes is so popular I love a holiday vlog me too I know, me too. I'm um, just going shopping, like tomorrow, I am going to TK Maxx, I'm going to HomeSense, and I'm going to maybe do the range at the same time. But I'm just gonna do some shopping, what's new in August. So I'm gonna put those up. I've just done my cleaning and organization one. But I mean, for me, I prefer to do my holiday, obviously Florida and Disney and stuff like that, but because we just can't get out there, I'm just having to make sure that I can just do other things that I think are of interest, but it's getting the people to, that think what you're doing is interesting. That's the thing. That's the hardest thing. Like we all think we're interesting people, right? <laughs> we all think we're the next huge white ear, or we hope, but not everybody else does. Yeah, exactly. At least when I go out tomorrow, I can take my camera and I'd have to do it on my stupid phone because it's, oh my God. Fen fam do their phone and, and hats off to them, but I cannot vlog on my phone. I For three years, I've done it on my camera. So when I was trying to do it on that phone, and then when I came back to edit it, I was like, oh, Jesus, KP. I felt like, like an amateur. Well, you are... You are doing really well. Ah, oh, thank you, Mrs. O. Thank you. You want one of my chocolate cakes, don't you? Right, I'm going to turn it out. Right. Now they have they have um, deflated a little bit, but I think that'll be okay. Hold on a minute. Um, bye Grace USA, hello, how are you? We've got a couple of people from America in today, hello. We've got dudes and dudes and we have, um, cat, oh, whatever, the, oh, it's my phone, whatever he's called. Love the, I <laughs> Do you think I like Disney? <laughs> so, let's get one of these out. Oh, that hat, hat, hat. Right, tea towel. Okay, it's not too bad. It deflated a little bit, but not too bad, right? So, 
that's moving down a little bit. I've got um, a tub of stalk holding you guys up. Oh, hold on, I need to clean this. Actually, I think I need a sharp knife. everybody. GD, how you doing? Okie dokie. Oh, I didn't concentrate. Oh God, they're really soft. Concentration, KP. Right. Oh, here comes Gizmo. I don't know if I really want to do this live. If I don't do it live, I can pretend. Yes, you can have some GED. <laughs> like that was going to come out. How do they say get it out? should have done. Probably put something on at the bottom. It's okay. It's okay. We learn. We learn with every mistake. <gasps> Let's move that over a little bit. If she let me, because this has got to be an Instagram moment, hasn't it? Oh my gosh, guys, I want you to see me cutting into it. Hold on. <laughs> oh my God. Hang on a minute. Right, thank you. Let's just get another picture, as one does. Right, I'm going to cut into it and I'm hoping it'd be gooey. Let's see. Can you see? Do it at the same time that I'll do a little, a little video on here. No, not gooey. <laughs> not gooey, but still. Let's get you back on so I can see what you're all saying. But not bad. Mrs. O, get your bum over here and come and get one. Never, I know. Let me, oh, it is gooey, but it's not gooey gooey. Let me do another one. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some ice cream on here. Give this one stick here. I'm going to wash this out. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to wash this out, put some more um, cocoa powder and stuff in, and then I'm going to put, I've still got some mixture, so I'm going to put another one in for 10 minutes rather than 11 minutes, and then get it out. Then we're going to get some ice cream. My dear, it's been an hour, and I'm, okay, relax, heel calm. Thank you very much. See you next time. It's like a chocolate wave at Disney's Coral Reef. I need to go to that place. I need to go and eat there. Right, let me go and get some ice cream. Give you the full look. And then uh, we will wash this up. Put the other one in. Turn the oven back on. Right, let's go get some ice cream.
no ice cream in there. Let me just check this one. I'll have to go and heat up my spoon. Uh, well done, Mrs. O. See it get your white teeth down there. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to grow, are you? If you don't start, you know, everyone here is here to grow. Right, shall I try a little bit? Oh my god. Guys, that is delicious. Here you go. Open up everybody. Here you go is your little bit. Ice cream, chocolatey mousse, chocolate fondant. I'm going to do that for a thumbnail. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Wow. Right, I'm going to take out the other ones. I'm going to get that one in, wipe with my knife, get these ones one a bit, get Mickey play, Let's see if we can get these ones out. Gizmo's down here beside me going, can I have some spoons? Oh, Gizzy boy. Still very, very hot. If anybody makes this, please tag me. I would highly recommend you do make it. It was simple, wasn't it? Mrs. O, here's one just for you. Oops. Oh, wow. Mrs. O, come over and get it. Come on. Come on, Mrs. O. Mrs. O is my name. <laughs> I love that. Come on, pop over quickly. Come and get it. Get yourself some nice ice cream or some creme fraiche or some yogurt. This one isn't so good. This one is a little bit of catastrophe. Hey, Clara's Clara's Light, how are you doing? Come on in, drop your link, get comfortable. Easier. Oh. Right, I'm going to make sure on my next ones that I put in that I grease it very well and that um, our <coughs> we've made chocolate fondant today. Chocolate delicious fondant with ice cream car is like. <coughs> For the first time, I'm very proud. I think it's gone really well. So I'm just going to take these all out. Mrs. O is going to come over from over the road. <laughs> the urban cook's going to drive down, get him set there. You don't like pudding, do you? Actually, Steve, urban um, cook, these aren't very sweet. They just taste light and fluffy. They're like a souffle. You can be all right with these. Do's and do's. Fondant is like icing also, right? Oh, I, I always say this wrong, don't I? So, frosting is, frosting is icing, sugar and butter, and fondant is the rolled out icing you put around a white cake at Christmas. I wish I could give these to you guys. Frosting is the buttercream. Does that help? Oh, yeah. Oh, Dan, amazing. Dan, this is why I need to move to America. And then you and your wife, when I go down to Vera Beach, I live down there, then you and your lovely wife can come down, and then uh, JP is the chef. He, like, he loves cooking. You, you love cooking as well? 
and then I can just cook up a storm in the kitchen today. Just an amazing weekend. Now obviously they deflate and when you'd be cooking for a dinner party or something, you would just be dishing them out straight away, wouldn't you? With your ice cream. Mrs O, these are for you. Are you coming over? I can't come to you because I'm in the middle of a live stream. Mrs O, come on over and get your cakes, take them back home, get your cream out or your ice cream and nibble them down. Come on, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting, I'm going to put them by my front door. The dog here is going loop. The dog's like, oh, oh, oh. Come on, Mrs. O. They're lovely and hot. Mrs. O. Right, they can sit there. Those two are going to go over there, and that needs to go up to JP quickly. Give them a little bit more ice cream. Bye, Grace. USA, how you doing? What country, uh, what state do you live in, by Grace, USA? What state do you live in? And by Grace, USA, at Clara's Light. Did you come back? Uh, do some do's by Grace, USA, thank you. Do that. Ah, oh, by Grace USA, what state do you live in? I know, I know, Steve. You're going to have you with my, uh, my bake in a minute. Sky Life, how are you? Come on in. I would, but I'm on a diet, need to lose some. <laughs> oh, Mrs. O. Honestly, shocking. Okay, I'll give it to the other neighbours. They love my baking. They've got to come and get a parcel later. Right, I'm going to quickly run this upstairs to JP. Should we see if this one... Oh my gosh, look how flat that one was. That's extremely light and fluffy. Yeah, they were definitely over... They need to be uh, definitely 11 minutes. No, 10 minutes. Not 11 minutes, 10 minutes. Right, stay there guys, it's two sets. I will return. <sighs> right, I reckon we're enough for one. So let's make it a gooey, chocolatey one, right? Let's get this washed up. going to do what you said Mrs O. So the next one I am going to I'm going to uh, sprinkle icing sugar over the top once I've turned it upside down and then we're going to cut in it 
and then hopefully it's going to ooze out with chocolate and um, yeah, it's going to be the best one I've ever made. So let's get some right. ramekin greased up. Let's grease this one up really well so that it comes out completely. in 10 minutes is pretty cool isn't it 10 minutes is no time at all right let's put in this mixture so if you miss this the first time round, you can see this the second time round. i keep looking at the camera wrong because i keep thinking like with the map the camera is in the middle here it's on the side i'm going to put a bit more on the bottom bottom Right, uh, JBL Trio, I'm about to go and make chocolate cake and some brownies. Ooh, leave me on in the background. You don't need to turn me off. You leave me on in the background. It's fine. But you have a lovely time. If you want to tag me to show me what you've done, that would be awesome. Right. Let's get this mixture. Ooh. So the mixture's been sitting and it looks quite moussey. Look, can you see that? It's gone like quite moussey like. Right. I've got a good feeling about this. Mrs. O, this is quite low fat. Egg whites, egg yolk, bar of chocolate, <laughs> and um, tiny little bit of sugar. Right. In it goes. RS Chavez, hello, how are you? Come on in. I've given you a jacket. You can drop your link. We're just making chocolate fondant. We've made a couple. Um, we're just going to put this one in. So, Alexa, uh, time our 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Let's get this baby in. Right. It's our last chance. Let's see how that one comes out. Oh, I'm nervous. What if it's a flapjack? <laughs> what if it's flat as a pancake? This one was quite flat. Yasmin Robinson's still here. Oh, Yasmin, what are we going to do? We should do... Do you know what we should do, Yasmin? Um, we should do a collaboration. Definitely we should do a collaboration of something. Oh, Aris uh, Chavez, you're good, good. I'm glad you're good. Gizmo sniffing around, he wants more food. Yeah, we should do a collaboration of some sort. Yeah, I know. We need to think of what a collaboration would be. I'm thinking, can you see? <laughs> Aris Chavez, enjoy what you're doing, my friend. Thanks for the jacket. You're more than welcome. Drop your link and get dancing with people. We've got Mrs. O, who's an interior designer. We've got Yasmin, whose uh, channel is up and coming. Uh, a bit of like a lifestyle channel. We've got Mr. Joker Gaming. Mmm, salt and pepper chicken. Salt and pepper chicken. Yeah. Today's generation is still here. Yeah, I love salt and pepper chicken. Right, should we look through? This is Harry Biker's uh, book that I've been doing. Mrs. O, I feel bad now. I'm I'm doing so well to lose a stone, but ah, uh, don't feel bad. That's okay, honey. Honestly, don't worry about it. It's more from uh, JP tweet, not me, because I'm gonna be in the same boat. Um, ah, uh, that's okay. No, don't worry about it, honestly. I love the Hairy Bikers. Isn't it good? We've had this book for a couple of years and I found it in my laundry room when I was tidying up and I'm like, why have I not used it? Chocolate fondant, best recipe. And i um, so excited to vlog Disney. Oh, Dan, stop it. 
I might not even be out there this next month. I'll be gutted. I really just need my Disney. I need to be back in Florida. Ooh, barbecue belly port. I need to just live out there. And then I can go every day. And then Dan, I'll be there every day and you'll be like, I'm so jealous. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, so annoying. I'm so happy for you. When do you actually leave? You haven't done a proper vlog yet. I know. You're doing so well with your intros and things like that as well. I think you're doing really, really well out there. I think it'd be good. I was watching Tim Tracker again this morning, not trying to make you jealous. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was watching Tim Tracker this morning and I watched two of his videos when I was on my run up. And he, one of the ones was uh, when he went to Disney Springs. And I like what he does. So he doesn't really walk a lot. So he, he'll talk about, so I'm gonna go down towards Circus Soleil and we'll start down there and we'll come back. So he's stationary when he says it. And then he says, and we'll work our way back. Then he's down there towards Circus Soleil and then he's facing that way and he's going, right, okay. So this, 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 MBA, uh, you know, and, all, and I like that way of vlogging and I'm gonna take those tips with me for sure. Did you see the gadgets bid I did? Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, stuff that you're taking with you. Yes, I did with your fan and everything. Yes, he is good. Yeah, yeah, I did. So, you go in a few days' time, do you? Instagram music still here. What did you think? <laughs> I commented on the video, matey. It was good. Did I not say that the uh, sound was a little bit off? Last time I was in Florida was 1994 with my son in the zone. Ah. 1994, wow. So 26 years ago. Yeah, didn't I say that when you, I can't remember what I said dudes, but yeah, I'm sure there was a little bit of a sound difference from when you were using one device to when you sat down and I don't know. It wasn't that big a deal. Mrs. O, you need to go back. She does need to go back for sure. Urban uh, Cook is still here. Yeah, no, I think it, it's awesome. Yeah, volume levels, exactly. That's what I've just done on my editing, actually, or the video that I've just put up. I've made sure all my, uh, munching away, all my sound is um, level. Because sometimes as well, when you put music on a, on a edit, some mu music on a video, your sound on your music could be louder than when it goes into you talking. So music's up here and then when you start talking it's down here. So I try and equalize manually, obviously. Ah, uh, do's and do's. You know what, for someone who's um, only just starting, you're doing really well. Your graphics are awesome. Your intro was brilliant. And you did something in the middle of the first third of the video, I can't remember what you did, but that was quite good as well, it was it, like you brought something in, I think you said something, you did your intro and then you said right let's get into it or something and then something happened, that was really cool. Alright, see you later Mrs. O, bye! Yeah, it'll be dinner time soon, ready for my pasta bake. Yeah, the intro was good, yeah really really good. Love a good intro, but Tim Tracker, he's got nearly 800,000 subscribers, bananas, and he does no fancy intro, no fancy outros, no pop-ups, no nothing, and he's doing really well. And yes, he's been doing it 11 years, but he's still doing really well. channel how are you right what should I make tomorrow mm. have not got uh... oh this looks nice Steve the urban cook you still here 
He does good because he gets a lot of invite. I know. I know. Urban Cook invites everywhere. I know. He just got invited back to the Waldorf. So the Waldorf Asteria, Asteria is one of the hotels and restaurants I've always wanted to go and visit. And um, him and Jen got invited to go to the, um, of course, got invited to go to the golf course to eat there with little baby Jackson. So I've got to know the names. And uh, yeah, look. Can I drop my link? Yeah, you yeah, are, wait, go, go ahead. Right, I'm making those tomorrow. Cheese and tomato, chutney turnovers. I don't have brie. I do have chutney. Oh, I hate frying. I've never fried in my life. What? Right, so Urban Cook. I'm going to make these tomorrow. Where did it go? But it says I need to fry in a frying pan. So, uh, sorry, fry in a saucepan with one centimetre of oil. Can I use a wok? Can I use more, put them in a wok? I reckon I could, couldn't I? Today's generation, RS Chavez has been to you. Um, Art Wave channel at the Urban Cook. How are you doing? Urban Cook Empananda. Empananda. Oh, is that what they're called? This is called cheese and tomato and chutney turnovers. <laughs> Empananda. Hey, Art Wave channel. Maybe I should do a live stream, um, a stream yard, Steve, tomorrow and then bring you up. So if I get into trouble, you can help. But you make your own dough, so you use self-raising flour, a little bit of salt, cold butter, whole milk. Ooh, don't have whole milk, I'll try and find some in the shop. Oh, shiver me timbers! does look really good. Ooh, that is hot, hot, hot. That actually does look amazing. That's going to be a TikTok. Wow! It gooeyed out! Oh my gosh. If you get the dough mixture right, they will be good. Okay. Oh my gosh, it gooeyed out. I need to get icing sugar. See? That one minute made all the difference. Didn't I say that 11 minutes was a bit too much and it needed to be 10 minutes? Oh my gosh. Let me just take a picture. I am so chuffed with that. It's the little things, right? It's the little things, people, that make the biggest impressions on yourself. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. 
hey, always be proud of yourself, because no one else will be, <laughs> except you. Wow, I'm super, super, super excited. Oh my gosh, look at that. Please, recognition everybody, come on. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that pastry. If you don't get that pastry right, Steve, it will just taste like pastry. You know what I mean? It'll be like, mm. oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. I need to go and show JP. <laughs> 10 minutes. Dudes, you need to make this for your wife. Come on, everybody, not Steve, because I don't eat. But you need to make this for your friends and stuff, because it was so easy to make. I'm so happy with it. I need a screenshot. I need a, uh, I need a uh, thumbnail. <laughs> I'm so needy. Hold on. There you go. Little thumbnail. That's so good. Right, everybody, don't forget, thumbs up as you're coming in. Make sure you share this out, this video out. And um, yeah, that was a success. <laughs> Don't look at those ones. That was a success. So good. So Steve, what's been happening with you? Well, you don't need to tell me what's been happening with you. That's not what I'm saying, but are you back to doing your vlogging again and your baking, cooking? Ignore what I just said. Are you just doing, getting back onto it with your cooking and stuff? And, shall we do a stream yard tomorrow? You can come on and give me some tips. Yeah? Steve? Yeah? yeah. Probably come on at uh, around about two-ish, I reckon. Two? Come on about two-ish, two three-ish, if you're around Steve. Urban cook, urban cook, 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 cook. And if I do a um, stream yard, and do the do's if you want to pop on as well, you're more than welcome. Get your face out there so you get people knowing you so that they can come and visit your house. Get people visiting your house as well. Artwave channel, what you've been up to lately? Anything exciting? Um, hi Hayley family, how are you doing? I'm sorry if you came in and I didn't say hello to you, my apologies. RS Chavez is still in the house, anybody want to dance? Oh, you're good, are you, Hayley family? Good. Are you going off on your travels yet? I'm glad that the tornado, no, tropical storm Florida was downgraded and it wasn't such a big scary thing that they thought it would have been and that the Caribbean obviously blew it out a little bit, but I don't know if the Caribbean... Good urban cook. I don't know if the Caribbean just blew it out a little bit or if it got wrecked or anything. I need to look at that. I didn't look at any news stories. Yeah, getting a second bite of the YTC. Did you just take a little bit of time out, Steve? Just because it gets a bit exhausting, doesn't it? Like, I took the weekend off because, um, well, one, for family life, there's things going on. But two, sometimes I think you just need a little bit of a... Whew, don't you? It gets a bit disheartening sometimes. It's like when I was just vlogging holidays and putting them up, it's a completely different driver to wanting to do well. Like Yasmin says she wants to do this full time. Exactly. Okay, Iris Chavez, thank you so much for coming. I need to help my mum. Nice to see you again. Well, make some yummy uh, chocolate fondants. I don't know what happened. What happened? Oh, in the Caribbean and stuff with the, the tropical storm? Urban cook, only stopped through appointment. Oh, okay, Macy. That makes sense. Thanks, Artway Channel. Bye, RS Chavez. See you next time. Thank you for coming in. Oh, go turn the other yeah, turn the other one off. How exciting. What a good first hour. Nearly two hours. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, 
So we've got a little bit of time and then we'll get on with the pasta bake. Pasta, sweet corn, tuna bake. Yeah, I don't cook, but that, that sounds easy enough to do. I don't know what sauce I'll do though. I did get a recipe. I wonder if there's one in the book. I wonder if there's any pasta in this book. No. I like an appendix. Oh, here you go. An index. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, pasta. No. We'll be looking at that then. Dudes and dudes, art way travel done to you. Today, generation, Haley family, a letter, beautiful gift. Don't forget guys, uh, share this out on your lovely community page or Twitter, Instagram, and yeah. Let's keep dancing. I leave my phone play for you, my friend. Oh, thank you. Thanks, RS. I appreciate that. Oh, that was good. Gone cold, but it was good. I'm waiting for JP to come down and then I can go, hey, hey. So dudes, Dan, what's the next thing you're gonna video before you go on holiday? Packing your suitcase? <laughs> All your socks and undies? <laughs> I just think about that. A lot of people do that, don't they? But I just can't know what I take on holiday with me. I don't think I'll mind the electrical stuff, but I'm not sure. The only reason I don't is because I'm not very um, girly. Have a Roku video premiere this week. Oh, what's a Roku? Roku? Piece of equipment. I'm just not very, yeah, I don't think I'll do a lot. I'll do a packing one. No. <laughs> well, could do. You know, it's totally up to you. I'm not here to tell anyone what to do, but yeah. Oh, it's like an Apple TV. Ooh. Oh my gosh, talking of TVs, our plasma down here has started, the screen just goes off and comes back on again and goes off and comes back on again. Oh, it sounds like we're going to get a new telly. Um, hey, Karen, how you doing? I'm watching ads to be there in a few minutes. Hi, Fifi. They've opened up live streaming on their channel. Have they? Oh. You don't have Roku in the UK? I don't think so. Don't think we do. Steve? Steve, no, it's an amazing device. What is it like? Is it like Netflix? Is it, uh, I think you can get one. Let me go and Google it. Your little comments are coming up there. So let's go and have a look. Roku in the UK. Streaming players and smart TV. Roku provides the simplest way to stream entertainment to your TV. Access more than 150, no, I thought it said 150,000. Oh, it does, 150,000 plus movies and TVs. Is Roku available? Channel launches in the UK, free shows, movies. Hi, Fifi. Um, now TV and Sky Q devices. Roku has brought its own free channel to the UK. Um, from 7th of April this year it came. Is there a monthly fee? There are no monthly fees for watching free channels or for using Roku device. You only have to pay for subscription channels like Netflix, cable replacement. Okay, screenshot. I'll see what JP thinks. Uh, I think you can get one. I love the Roku device. It's like a fire stick. Oh, really well. Hi, Fifi, you okay? Ooh. You okay there? How you doing? We just made chocolate fudge.
fondant today. Mm. I'm sure JP has heard it. Yeah, he would have heard of it for sure. How you doing, Fifi? You having a good day? What you been up to? The Sky Life, Hayley family, I left you a beautiful cupcake. How's it going, Fifi? Thank you for watching my ads, Fifi. Yeah, I'll ask JP about it. All, all I know is that we currently have Virgin and we pay a ridiculous amount for Virgin and it needs to come down. I've been looking out for you and Fen been dropping link like it's on fire. Ah, ah, on fire. <laughs> Thank you, Fifi. That is so sweet of you, Fifi. Working with pasta has been nice. Ah. How far is she off of her target? She must be near that target. And if she's not, I feel sorry that she's not because she's putting in that time and effort. I run everyone's playlist last night. By Grace USA, the Sky Life left you a beautiful cupcake. Yeah, she must be nearing her target. And if she's not, something's going wrong. But however, YT, I looked at my figures for last month because yet again, I've not hit a threshold to get any money um, in August. So I haven't hit a threshold to get paid. And a couple of my days, and I said this last week, have got no views on my videos. Now I know the live streams had 150 views at least, but they're showing up with like one and none. So I need to um, maybe challenge YT on that and find out what is going on. Because I know I had real people in the room. Um, I just don't know what's going on. It's very bizarre. Uh, just me Fifi, I've got a collab coming out, here's the preview, not sure but she has hundreds per day, I think the trolls messed it up for her, yeah. If people don't stay in the room for at least two minutes, at least two minutes, they cause issues, that life is taken away and the watch time is also taken away. So if people just pop in and go out, pop in and go out and don't stay for two minutes, that's not very good. Is that your cable? Yes, dudes. We have Virgin. So we have Sky is an offering and we have Virgin. So we're currently with Virgin, um, which is cable for us. Uh, but if we can do it other ways, then we should just do it other ways. That's way cheaper. Because we don't watch movies. We don't, well, JP does watch sport. But if there's another way of seeing sport, then perfect. Just me, Fifi. Hey, dudes, been dropping your link as well. Fifi's been working overtime for us. You can cut the cord and just keep the internet and use streaming primarily. Primarily, we now um, we only use the over the air. Do you have that in the UK? No. Uh, bye, Grace USA. Thanks, host. Um, I need to go have visitors. Thank you very much for popping in, and thank you for hitting that thumbs up and I'm glad you got some bananas. See you later. No, we don't have that. I do not know what that is. Um, Sky Life by Grace USA. See you again soon. Yeah, I have internet only. Do you? Wow, I have a copy and a paste list ready and waiting for my fan, so I'll hardly drop mine, but yours is on my face. Oh, bless you. How do you do that, Fifi? Because I always want to do that, because I want, because otherwise I have to open up all the windows and keep going copy, copy, just like put it in your notes or something. That's a good idea. I could just do that in my, in my um, device. Mm. The rest you can go for free. Yeah. I don't know why we pay it, it's just a rip off. It's a grand a year. Grand a year or over a grand a year, you're just wasting. You're not getting all the full benefits, it just doesn't make sense. 
I'm going to put that in my book because one of the things that we're going to do, we're going to definitely get rid of what we're doing. I just use my notepad app and then open up so I can go back and forth. Good idea, Fifi. I need to do that. That is such a good idea. Right, so <laughs> poor old JP is going to come in from work and I'm going to ambush him with, right, let's get rid of Virgin. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> Hi, Melts Gamer. Chaos. Chaos, 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 gamer. I don't know if it's going to call you gamer. How are you doing? Thank you for coming. Make sure you do a thumbs up because my thumbs up's not moved. Now that could be because my screen is stuck, which is probably a possibility. Oh, you're good, are you? That is awesome. That is very good. We're all good too. Thank you for the thumbs up. It just went up. It went up to 36. Well done, everybody. 36. Right. So, I really should think about clearing all that up. <laughs> clearing that up and getting ready to cook dinner. This for my TV cooks, we haven't even been on telly for ages. Probably shouldn't put them on here in case they um, come knocking on my door and ask for royalties. Even tells you how to make a quiche Lorraine. Oh, you make one of those, Steve. <laughs> so much garbage on television, I know. So much garbage. Kate's Gamer, how is everybody? He's asking. So much, Gar. I never, ever watch normal TV. I save like 180 a month. Wow. That is amazing. Yeah, we need to do that. Do you know what? I, my biggest pet hate is paying bills. I say it all the time on here. I hate paying bills, she, as she says, with the lights all on. But, um,. So, so that you get a good view but I hope bills uh, so any way that I can make it cheaper the better I like them as the cook rustic yeah they do the urban cook have you made a quiche Lorraine before I do watch your videos and I just can't remember if you do or not if you've done one but I want to make quiche Lorraine Mmm, quiche Lorraine sounds delicious. Uh, do's and do's, it's just me Fifi, all good, thank you. Yeah, I think, um, def so what JP's been focusing on recently is the gardening. So we've done the back garden, we've stained some of the wood, he's got a little fish pond that he's stained and he's decluttered some of the flowers and put them out the front because we had grass out the front which was always dead. And I will not allow him to water the grass because it's a waste, excuse me, it's a waste of money. So we have taken up all the grass, Luke did, and we've laid membrane down and slate and put the flowers from the back of the house to the front of the house and it looks awesome. And we put in a tiny little, because I believe in feng shui to a little degree, we put in a little water feature. So I had a blue ceramic bowl, we've got a tiny little pump, Put that in there with some stones. I got this barbecue grill top that went over the top of it, saved from upcycling. And then we put slate. That is the one thing we did buy was the slate, but nothing else. All the plants and everything that come from the back garden to the front, and the barbecue thingy. Oh, and the little pump we had to buy from Amazon, and it was awesome. It was so good. Uh, no, I have a couple of quiches. Uh, coming out, ooh, giving you ideas, aren't I, Steve? Awesome. Well, then I might, if you've got one coming out this week or next week, I might wait. So I think I'm going to make those yummy chutney things tomorrow. That'll be Tuesday. Wednesday, takeaway. <laughs> Thursday, probably got stuff in the freezer that needs to be eaten. 
and then Friday is takeaway night anyway, again, and then I'll make quiche Lorraine next week. I haven't actually got a quiche Lorraine dish. Hmm. Have you got the proper quiche Lorraine pie dishes? Because I haven't got those, Steve. I see some new people here, I will connect. Okay, uh, gamer, that would be awesome. Um, Skylife, Just Me Fifi, yes I do, thank you. And uh, gamer, you might not have connected with Skylife. And the Urban Cook, you may or may not have. Um, and Just Me Fifi at Skylife, yep, just get dancing. Do's and do's, have you cooked a quiche Lorraine before? Very British quiche Lorraine, very, very English, I love it. Hi there, Golfer Buddy Bambi, how are you doing? Golfer Buddy Bambi. Now when I say that, that so's Florida, golfer. I just think of golf courses in Florida, it's crazy. Quiche Lorraine, Dan, do's, have you made one? If not, I want you to make one with your special pay pastry that you do. Dude, you should do some cooking live streams. <gasps> yes, get a variety on your channel. See what works. This is the time when your channel's small like ours, we can all see what works and what doesn't work. Just me Fifi at the Sky Life, appreciate you. Yeah, it's a quiche Lorraine, but I don't have one of those dishes. I might have to go and buy a tin, a cheapy tin. The first one I made, I didn't, but then went and bought one for the second. Yeah, I think I need, did you buy the, the normal pop-out ones, just like the normal tin, or did you go and get a posh ceramic thing? I think I'll just get one of the cheapy pop-out tin things, because that crust edge just looks so perfect, doesn't it? I think I'm going to do that. Just looks delicious. Oh, it says it needs 300 ml of double cream and 200 ml of creme fraiche. Go for buddy, just get dancing with everybody. Chocolate is my favourite and oh, go for buddy, we just make chocolate fondant. When I say we, we, it was me, but yeah, look, chocolate fondant. Oh, it was delicious. Had a couple that were a little bit mmm. But then I left it, I put the last one in for one minute less and it was perfection. So excited. Um, never made a quiche. Dudes, why don't you do a video on some like barbecue or something that's really American? You know, like your, hi Detecting Essex, how are you? You're always making lovely cakes. How are you? This <laughs> well, I am. I just hide it so well. <laughs> How are you doing, Detecting Essex? Drop you a link. Haven't spoken to you for a few days. Maybe it was last week, or yeah, you popped up last week. Yeah, we're just saying that um, do some dudes in Florida. You should do some Floridian cooking or something. It'd be so cool. You can make enchiladas. Mm. Enchilada, good. Do that. Do a cooking video. It'd be fun. You can explore everything. The Urban Cook makes it look easy. Drop your links everybody, Detecting Essex. Most of you might go for Buddy. I don't know if you've connected with the uh, Detecting Essex before, so you can connect and Gamer. Um, that would be a new one for you to connect with as well, Detecting Essex with Thomas. Daddy Days, how are you? Come on in, come on, come say hi. We've made chocolate fondant and we're now just chit-chatting. Just chit-chatting about what we should be doing for other food. Talking about quiche Lorraine. Mmm. Quiche Lorraine and we were talking about, but I did not make the pastry because I suck at it. No, this is so easy. This pastry was 50 grams of plain flour, cold butter and a large egg. That is simple. We're going to make it to get... <gasps> Steve, that's what we should do. We should take the same recipe, yeah, and do it. Or do's and do's, all three of us. <laughs> 
can do it. We all do the same recipe and we all make it at the same time. A bit like I did with Fen Fan the other week, but proper, proper good food. Team Spirit Do's. I'm okay, thank you. I can't do links, but I'm okay. I don't mind. I'll just pop in to see your lovely... Oh, Detecting Essex. Well, one of the other people could probably see your link and drop it down for you. Oh, pulled pork. Hold on, I'm going to show you what else we're going to cook. Yeah, we could do that. It just makes your live streams a little bit more fun, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, that is so good. I love quiche, says Just Me Fifi. So do I. I literally love it. I've never made it. And now I'm in this uh, making, baking and cooking malarkey. Says she hasn't actually made anything yet, cooking wise. <laughs> oh, I can't find my little pasties. Where's my little pasties go? Maybe they're up this way. Oh yeah, here it goes. Look, cheese and chutney, tomato turnovers. Cheese and tomato chutney turnovers. Yeah, we should do it at the same time. Dudes and dudes, dropped his link, just me 50. Yeah, I want to do a collaboration. So we're going to either do those or do those. I'm going to do these tomorrow. I'm doing cheese and tomato chutney turnovers. I just don't have whole milk. I'm not good at quiche. It would be a disaster. Yeah, me not. Do you have to do that blind baking? Hold on a minute. Oh, you've got to do the blind baking. You can do rice though, can't you? You don't need the baking beans. You can do rice. I'll make some enchiladas of the lasagna. <laughs> Is that what you made today? Today I made, um, yeah, chocolate fondant. Beefy. Chocolate fondant today. I'll also go live at Disney. Yes. Chocolate fondant today. And um, tomorrow I'm making cheese and tomato chutney turnovers. Thank you for asking, Beefy. Send me the ingredients. I have the beans for that. All right, Urban Cook. All right, I'll send you it. And should we do a collaboration on screen? So we do a live stream and we both have to do it. Oh, I love that idea. That would be so fun. Um, do's and do's. Yes, definitely do live streams. Definitely. I can't wait. Um, when I did a live stream from Disney once before, I think I had two people. <laughs> So don't be upset, okay? It's cool, because anyone's better than no one. I'll definitely send you the ingredients, Steve. That's so exciting. <laughs> yeah, and I did the parade. I did one of the parades live. Oh, it hurt my hand. I was like, this is the camera. <laughs> yeah, and I got about two people popped in. It's fine. Yeah, make the pastry. We'll both make the pastry. It's quite a simple recipe. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven items. It'd be fun. <laughs> oh, I like this sort of thing. It's a good laugh. And if anybody else wants to join in, they're more than welcome. I'll send you the recipe and we can do it. Ah, oh, Dan, me neither. It's Florida. It's holiday. I'm at Disney. I know, exactly. I didn't want to bother me either. When I go in September, I'm going to do the first few days though. I'm not doing any lives. I'm just going to enjoy myself. And then I'll do some lives. Yeah, okay, go for it, Katie. Awesome, Steve. It'd be fun, wouldn't it, Steve? It's good to do silly things like this. It's good. It's fun. Um, yeah, so Dan, I'm just going to chill for the first few days. I'm going to take loads of pictures. I'm going to spam my Instagram. But um, my two Instagram accounts. <laughs> I've started my other one up again, so that's quite good. 
But I saw you in the middle, we're just talking Disney, saw you in the middle. Saw you in the middle, you're just in time. Dudes and Dudes is going to Disney in a few days, I think. Can't remember where you said you're going. And we were just talking about doing lives out there and we were just talking about um, what it's going to get getting up to. Yes, Steve, it's totally going to be fun. It's going to be... And, saw you in the middle, Steve from The Urban Cook and I are cooking this. Oh, no, we're going to cook a quiche Lorraine in the next couple of days. Quiche Lorraine. Very British. We're going to do a quiche Lorraine. Saw you in the middle, jealous. I know, me too saw you in the middle. I have to put up with him on my live streams and talk to him all the time and he's just rubbing it in. Yeah, I'm going to Disney. But look, I um, saw you in the middle. I made chocolate fondant today for my little Disney plates. I love my Disney. The other ones. How are you, saw you in the middle? Are you all good? How are you doing? All nice where you are? It's a bit overcast here today in the UK. We've had some glorious weather, haven't we, Steve? From the Urban Cook. But it's been so hot, hasn't it, Yasmin? The UK has been scorching. And the thing is with the UK, we don't have air conditioning. So we just can't cope. Whereas in your inner abroad, everybody has air con. It, it's more palatable, but it's definitely not in the England. It's too hot. And I heard Friday this week, Thursday, Friday, it's going to get hotter again. <sighs> and if you go with like 24 and we all melt, well, I do, I'll start melting with no air con. Ah, uh, Yasmin's back. Yasmin, you missed the collaborations that we've been talking about. So Steve from uh, the Urban Cook and I are going to do a collaboration on making quiche Lorraine. So Yasmin, you need to get those brain cells coming. Come on, girl, we need to do a collab, but I can't think what to do with you. We could do makeup, but I'm not very good at makeup. I don't wear any, so apart from my mascara and a bit of lippy. So Yasmin, come on, girl, we've got to think of something. Saw so you in the middle. I'm doing well. I got called up with the National Guard to help with the hurricane relief, having a little downtime there. Oh, matey. Well done to you, matey. Oh, well done, Sawyer. But luckily, Sawyer, it wasn't as bad as everyone thought it was, was it? It got downgraded to a tropical storm, is that right? Do's and do's is from South Carolina. Yasmin, mmm. Well, how about Yasmin? we do a foodie collaboration we can bake something together so I'm going to do the quiche Lorraine with Urban Cook maybe we can think of something to do with you and me later in the week or next week maybe you could give me one of your beautiful Indian inspired recipes it's, it's just about a hurricane we are from North Carolina oh 70 miles an hour winds sheesh that's still what that's still crazy like if we had that 60 mile an hour winds where i live right next to the river i'd have no roof definitely because when we have 25 30 miles an hour the roof sounds like it's lifting off it's so scary ah uh, urban cook says much respect to you sawyer in the middle i'm not the greatest baker can only make muffins no but i can do savory we can do food Indian cuisine, we can do Turkish, we could do all sorts together. You could teach me. I can make a good chicken curry. <laughs> right, so Yasmin, how about I look through the book and we can do something together through the book? Something that I like. <laughs> These look quite nice. Look, stuffed, Stilton stuffed figs with apple and beetroot. They sounded nice. Could do something like that, yes, ma'am. We're supposed to get 50 mile winds at times. Oh my gosh. That's pretty, it's rubbish, isn't it? My mother-in-law from Goa, India, and she has taught me some, that's why I thought we could do some, maybe some Indian food. That'd be amazing. JP is 
awesome at cooking that stuff. So if I could give him something that I've cooked that's of that taste, he'd be like, yeah, yeah, it's not just you, JP, it's me as well. <laughs> oh, saw you in the middle at the Urban Cook. Thank you so much. Do's and do's is going to do's and do's and do's and saw you in the middle. If you connected, saw you in the middle does Disney stuff as well. And do's and do's is going, do's and do's, you're not doing Universal, you're just doing Disney. I love doing Universal. I'm going back. And I'm not coming home. I think I can stay out there for six months. Six months on my visa. I get a cooking job out there. Um, okay, yes, me, no worries. No worries. I'm going to feed the dog while you were all here. Let me turn this around. I need to tidy up some minutes. Yeah, just Disney. Oh, when are you going to Universal? Would love to go to Hagrid's though. Oh my god, the Hagrid's ride is the best ride. Obviously, Star Wars is up there. So Rise of the Resistance, then Hagrid's for sure. Rise of the Resistance is a game, it's just epic. You want your dinner, darling? Come on then. Mama give you your dinner. Mama give you your dinner. Okay, baby boy. I'm going to check out all these channels. Would love to go to Hagrid's. I have a Rise of the Resistance ride through on my channel. Yeah. <sighs> so yeah, have you done Rise of the Resistance yet? I know we've spoken before, but I don't know if you've done um, Star Wars yet. Amazing. Right, while well, that's happening as well, doesn't that look really close? I'm going to go back a bit. It's going to have to thumb it anyway. I'm going to tidy up a little bit because I'm going to get the pasta out and Urban Cook's going to help me make my pasta cake. He's like, am I? Yeah, I'm drinks while I was waiting for a boarding group. Mm, you got to do the Ronto wrap. The Ronto wrap, breakfast wrap, best ever. Um, I think I'm getting the Disney food book that shows us how to do some of the foods from Star Wars. Uh, JP mentioned it the other day. I don't know if he's going to order it for me or not. Barry, hello. How you doing, Barry? Come on in, guys. Drop your links and get dancing. Yeah, I don't know if he's ordering it or not, but um, that would be pretty exciting because it's got the Toronto wrap in there as well, which shows you how to make it. It's like, whoa. Obviously, it's not going to be as good as the one in America, but it's going to still be a good one. Breakfast one. Yes, the breakfast one. Oh, my God. JP and I normally just share it, though, because um, one, it is expensive, and two, 
is expensive. <laughs> so we just share everything when we're out there. And I had the fire Endorian tip new ch tip chip chicken tip new ch did you going to sleep late guys just pass oh thank you Donald thank you for giving a thumbs up stay at least two minutes otherwise the thumbs up and you being here doesn't count so really appreciate you coming in but for at least two minutes matey that will be lovely and hopefully we'll see you next time for a little bit longer Donald um, I hated that they changed the name because people who don't uh, didn't know what they were eating. What did they change the name to then? Uh, Barry Sega GN. Oh, good night, Donald. <laughs> it's basically fried chicken with mashed potatoes. Oof. Wait, 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 wait. No. Turn it back for five minutes and go for the king of the dishwasher. Ooh. Love mashed potato. Mm. Right. Let's put some of this away. Because your KP makes a big mess. Let me show you. Oh, it doesn't even look that bad. But there, there is a mess there. It doesn't even look that bad. Um. I have a live stream on August the 11th to 14th. I want to invite everyone host to come. <gasps> Donald, I don't know if I remember that far in advance, but thank you. Come back the other time and we definitely will come to it for you. If I'm live, I can raid you. I will check that I make sure I've got my notification bell on for you, and I'm sure I have. And I will try my very best to come and support you. It's a difficult one, because everybody's always busy, aren't they? Right, just putting all my stuff away and the dog needs to go out. Come on then. Here you go. I'm sure everybody here will support you though, if they can. Right. We're getting there. Turn up. Um, sure thing, Donald. Quack, quack. <laughs> Aww. Right, we're going to get ready to get dinner ready. We are going to get dinner ready. I'm assuming my pasta plate, I have to pre-cook. Host, did you see my message on Facebook? Uh, no. No, if I haven't replied to you, then I definitely didn't see it. Sorry. To be honest, I very rarely are on there, so I'll check again for you. What was it about? Was it, do you remember me? Because someone kept sending that to me the other day. Do you remember who I am? Someone kept saying. And I, at that point, I'm just like, checked out. If that was you, sorry. So we were in the middle with do's and do's. Just checked out your channel. I love Charleston. Um, have family in the Isle of Palms and proposed to my wife in the battery. Oh, that's so sweet. Ah, oh, isn't that nice when you get some nice memories like that? I love it. I love it, I do. KPJP, I only searched it on Facebook. Okie dokie. Um, I don't know, sorry. Maybe. Um, let's go and have a look for this recipe. Oh, just looking back through my uh, puddings. Right, where is this recipe? Yeah, but did I uh, boil the pasta, tip the tuna into 
It's oil into a large bowl with pesto, mashed together with a spoon and spoon, blah, 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 blah. stir in some cheese, see your Donald, says Barry, um, and all of the tomatoes. Got to do tomatoes. Oh, ooh, okay. All right, we've got a recipe. Let's get baking. Baking, let's get cooking. Uh, gonna need my scales. I like to be precise. Do oh gosh, your messages oh. keep coming in and going. Uh, hi, oh here you go. Uh, that's awesome. Love battery. See, we call that battery, but I know it's not called battery. It's bat 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 battery. I I walk there on the weekends. Uh, hello, Sawyer. Says Barry. Good thing I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's move you back. Technical dramas today. Right, so 400 grams of pasta. Oh, I could use special pasta today. I could use this one. Or. Everyone's saying uh, what we're making. So we've made chocolate fondant and now we're making pasta bake. We're doing a pasta bake. Simple, easy peasy pasta bake, she says. Do's and do's, I posed in that big beautiful gazebo in the battery, have a great picture of it, that looks good. Good because I'm hungry, said Barry. <laughs> well then that's perfect Barry, we're here, I'm here to feed. Chocolate fondant, I'm going to do some red pesto pasta, while I'm sitting here I'll grate some cheese. I might have to steal that from you, laugh out loud, I'm hungry, yes, me too. I'll bring my dude with me then for a walk. Ellie the Labradoodle. Oh, Ellie. Ellie's so cute. I need a knife. Ellie's the cutest Labradoodle ever. Ellie is a human in doggy form. Or Ellie is a dog in human. <laughs> Either way, Ellie is super, super cute. And he's so relaxed, just like, yeah, I'm just chilled. My dad wants a cuddle, it's cool. She sniffs the exact location. Oh, oh, this dog. 
Which dog's knew how to open doors, though? Right, Gizmo? And I wish dogs could talk. I wish they could go, yeah, thank you for letting me out for a toilet for the hundredth time. And thank you for my dinner. Yeah, she is my child, I know. She so is your child. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah, I hate grating cheese. It's just like the worst thing ever. But I love eating it. I only need 100 grams, but I'm going to do two. You can never not have enough cheese, right? If the recipe says 50, do 100. If the recipe says 200, 300. You're just coming up and you're disappearing. I don't know how to make messages stay. Barry says, do some early morning gaming. Monday. Mondays are a good day. Monday is like the start of the week and you just think, I do, I just think, right, I'm, I'm rejuvenated, I'm raring to go. Doesn't everybody have to think the same? My battery's about to go on that, so I need to charge it up. Yes, Barry. Have you ever seen that movie, Shaun of the Dead? Yes, love Shaun of the Dead. It's hilarious. Yeah, is that like your favourite film? Dudes and Dudes will know what that is as well because he's quite the movie person. favourite cheese. I wondered if it played in the US when it when it came out. What, Shaun of the Dead? Halloumi, of course, absolutely, you know it. I had a Halloumi burger the other day from Burger King. It was delicious. I think it was Tuesday last week I went to Blue Water. How strange, I'm gonna go out tomorrow as well. Two Tuesdays in a row. Yeah, delicious. JP wasn't that impressed. He was like, we should have got a different burger because then we could have swapped it and then we could try two different things and he did have a point, but I didn't really think about it. Oh, dudes. So when um, Tim Tracker was at Disney Springs, the end um, by the AMC and everything and bowling was really quiet. He went about 2 o'clock, 1.32 in the afternoon, but then when he went up to Disney Works, that side, it was quite busy. And he said no one was practicing um, self-distancing. Hi my everything, my journey, oh, you're still here, thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, dudes, he's saying that no one was um, practicing distancing. Some people didn't have their masks on properly. Um, he said it was, he felt really uncomfortable. And that's one of the reasons he went to Disney Springs, because he wanted to see what people's thoughts were, whether um, people were being good or not. Yeah, he said whether people were wearing their masks properly, if they were practicing self-distancing, and they weren't down that end. He was like, it's almost like two different completely different experiences. You got one side where people were behaving and it was quiet, respectful, and then you got this side down towards marketplace down that where people were just being silly. I know it's hard with the heat. Those were the people holding us back so far the people who don't care. I'm going super early, also taking the midday and get right back here. Yeah. My thing, my journey is saying hello to you, dudes. Uh, why did why did you get a whopper? 
I didn't get a Whopper, I got a Halloumi burger. I should have got a Whopper as well, but I didn't think about it. I don't normally order food, JP normally does it, so I was a bit like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm in a takeout joint, getting some yummy food. I don't really know what I'm doing with my mask on. That's a lot of cheese. Cheese, done. I should have got a Whopper burger. But I failed. Uh, don't get, uh, yes, I got those, Barry. I got the chicken, whatever they're called, and they were disgusting. I got the spicy one. They were just too spicy and evil. I know it's expensive as well. You get three piece or six piece or whatever it was. And I got the, was it four and an eight? I got two lots anyway, and it was a waste of my money. It was a rip off. Absolute rip off Barry. Yes, the dudes, they were saying that they had like their masks down here and the um, guest services, so the lovely people that work at Disney, I don't know what they're called, have now got boards and they say, unless you're eating or drinking, wear your mask properly or something and you can only stand still with your mask off if you're drinking and eating. Yeah, don't, uh, <laughs> I know, crazy. It's scary though, right? It's scary. And the worst thing is, um, it's just not going away. Oh, dude, so we got a note from Disney. Um, we got a phone call from Disney this weekend, but we missed it. But um, they've emailed us. We were meant to be staying at Art of Animation for our September holiday, and that hotel actually hasn't opened, so they've booked us into Pop Century. But JP was like, I think I said, he was like, oh, maybe they'll put us into um, Animal Kingdom. Are they down in Lake Buena Vista? Yeah, we've stayed down there a few times. We've stayed at Lake Buena Vista Spa Room Resort. We've stayed at the Wyndham. And um, yeah, are they really cheap? Because Luke needs to book a hotel for a week there. Uh, Barry, yes, I do love a little bit of travel, thank you. Oh, am I I'm singing then, aren't I? Hang on a minute. No. Am I frozen? Can you all hear me? Can you see me? Am I back? No. I'm not frozen. I just look frozen on my screen. Am I frozen? Can you all see me? Okay, you can see me. Good, my phone froze. Um, for one night, I'm looking at the Western way. Oh yeah, for one night, 70 US dollars. That is awesome. Am I frozen? Oh, come on. No, I'm all right, I can see myself. That is awesome, dude. Where are you? Staying. You don't need to tell, you can message me if you don't want to say it on here, but where are you staying? We're going to stay at Pop Century, then we're staying at the Swan and Dolphin, and then we're staying at Universal Studios. Ah, uh, hi, Surya. Cool, Barry. Thank you, Barry. We're just saying where we're staying when we go to Disney, so I'm staying at Pop Century, because Art of Animation isn't open, and then Swan and Dolphin, and then... Surfside in Universal. All right, matey, thank you, Barry. Yeah, I cannot wait. I hope it goes ahead, but we will know on the 24th of August if it's going ahead or not, because that will be when the US government and the UK government decide if the airlines are gonna open. They may not open. They may open, but they may not. I really do hope they do. Otherwise, I think we'd delay our holiday to November. And then if we can't go to Disney in November, we will then push it out to February. 
I really don't want to do that though. I really want to go this year. But if we can't do Disney, Florida, oh, sorry, I'm so, oh, thank you. Sorry in the middle, that's so lovely of you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Sawyer. I just can't wait to get back out there and do all my Disney videos again. <laughs> all the Disney stuff. Oh, Sawyer, that's very sweet. It all helps. It all really does help. It helps that motivation. Helps it all still, you know, keep it all going. And you never know, Sawyer, we might all meet up. Like dudes and dudes, you and us, we could all meet up. That would be amazing. That would be so cool. Can't wait. And Tim Tracker, of course, because, you know, he's my buddy. <laughs> or anyone, really. Just, yeah. I just get so jealous where everyone's out there and they're vlogging all the time. There's a Marriott there as well. Yes, there is. I would love to do a meetup one day. Definitely fantastic. Especially like around Epcot or something. That should be the perfect place to do meetups. And you can just like walk around, have a margarita or just chill and yeah, have get a cake from, um, you know, the frozen area, Germany. Love that. Do's and do's. There's a Marriott there. Have you not booked your hotel yet? do's and do's or have you booked your hotel yet? I think it's Spring Hill Suite. Oh, yeah, I've heard of Spring Hill Suite. Because downtown Disney Springs, I actually like going to Crossroads. You know you go to Crossroads and you've got some eateries there. So much cheaper. Like we've eaten at the Sweet Tomato, we've eaten at the McDonald's. <laughs> We sometimes go, you're saying, oh yeah, you're saying Animal Kingdom, aren't you? There's, because you haven't said it for a little while, I forgot. Oh yeah. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Did you do the VIP Animal Kingdom upstairs on the VIP or whatever it is, up on that suite where you get all your food and stuff? But I need a night when I drive. Oh, okay. I met a few YouTube friends last December at Disney. We had a blast. Did you? Oh. Oh, what a shame. We were there in Disney in December. Well, we were there be, um, before Christmas. Was, so we came home 16th of December, I think it was. We were there two weeks and we come home 16th. Just a standard view. Not worth staying at Disney for 11pm check-ins. No. Definitely not. Standing room's good though. I always find with Animal Kingdom, the corridors are so long. The corridors at Animal Kingdom go on forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Crazy. How exciting though. I've seen so many YouTubers as well. I've seen so many YouTubers who've been staying at Animal Kingdom and I follow someone called... Um, I don't know what's her name, it was Moira, and uh, yeah, she lives in Disney Celebration, she lives in Celebration, it's not Disney Celebration, that's how I remember it, Celebration, and she stayed there a little while ago, and then I follow a couple of, one's a surgeon, and she stayed at the Contemporary, Wyndham Bonnie Creek is 120 only, maybe I'll stay there. Yeah, the Wyndham Bonnie Creek, that's the one just down the road from Disney Springs, yeah? Disney Springs, and then it's just down there on that road. That's a good one to stay at. We've stayed there. I'm not a fan of those hotels and their rooms. I don't think they're the greatest. We stayed at one for a week before, and I was just like, Phew. I'd rather stay at Disney. What's Pop Century? Any cheap? Mm. He said there's no point if check-in's not 11. Fair enough. Yeah, how's the pasta? Uh, German chocolate is the bomb diggity dog. Not done anything, Steve. I need to turn it up. <coughs> This will be what will be happening with us when we're making the quiche and stuff. I just get like totally sidetracked. I've got to turn it up, Steve, because it's not doing very good at all. 
I've tried to stay at the B and they have all those Bs. Buena Vista Palace. It's all just a rip-off, really. Oh, or, yeah, it's just all a rip-off, really, isn't it? So expensive. It was like 90 per night and then $60 in fees. Holy moly! No way. It's like parking, isn't it? Parking is a freaking rip-off. Like, you have to pay $22 a night for parking, or whatever it is. Even that's just a rip-off. Oh, the B Hotel. It has a funky light on the building. Hmm. Don't know if I know that one. It's right by Disney Springs. I'll have a look. We should usually stay at the Shades of Green Resort. Oh, that sounds nice. Sawyer, where's that based? Where's that in realms of Disney? The Shades of Green. And does the Shades of Green have Disney transportation or is it not that sort of thing? How is traveling during a pandemic? Um, Barry, in the UK, uh, it's masks everywhere you have to go. You Every shop now we have to wear masks. Um, and I haven't been traveling. My husband still works from home, so we have not been traveling at all. Don't bother with good neighbour hotels. It's a military resort located right beside the Polynesian. Oh, are you military at Sawyer in the middle? Oh, dudes and dudes, you didn't see his message earlier. He is. He was. He was on service uh, for the latest hurricane. It's for service men and women, KP. Ah, uh, yeah. That's how it is in the U.S. Yeah, Barry, it's crazy, right? Yes, do's and do's. Doesn't stop people from having baby fits over. <laughs> oh, Barry, you're so funny. Oh, do's and do's to Sawyer in the Middle. Thank you for your service. Oh, do you know what, guys? You guys in America are so appreciative of people in the service and reward and recognition. They would like thank you that you're at SeaWorld and you get a round of applause. In the UK, we don't really appreciate our service men and women at all it's hardly ever it's crazy oh that's so nice hey steve we just don't do it we don't treat them with the respect that they all deserve putting your life on why i have no idea crazy we don't even we don't even celebrate st george's day we don't need to, we are just crazy, crazy, crazy. Is it voluntary in the UK? Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, bonkers, <sighs> crazy. It is voluntary, but it's appreciative. It's it's a big decision. My life, my everything, my journey is still here. Thank you for your uh, being here still. Thank you so much. Very appreciative of you. I was going to try and put that away, but I can't. I'm just making a racket. I literally seen a video of women screaming at a store worker offering her. Oh my goodness. No. Just put the mask on. Put it on. It doesn't hurt. If you have a medical condition with your breathing, I can understand that. My mum has issues. She still wears a mask, but she has an asthma pump with her all the time to help her and stuff, but she's quite elderly. And I get that. But honestly, if, if you know, if we all want to get over this, we've all got to do our bit, haven't we? I want to get back to Florida, so bloody well do your bit, people. <laughs> You're stopping me from getting to Florida. Yeah, I know. Yes, I oh, know, it is hard, especially you're going to find it down when you go in that humidity of Florida, aren't you, and the heat and everything. But hey, if you can handle it, then anyone can handle it. Just have lots of breaks and stuff. Um, Tim Tracker did a video going into the Disney store. Honestly, he stood outside 
and probably 20 people went into the Disney store, no, no distancing, just all funneled in, and you just think, Phew. I mean, we were meant to go to the pub on Friday, and I literally, I've been walking around where the pub is, and it's been packed every night. So people sitting outside, no self-distancing, in their little groups, which is fine, no masks on, because they're eating and drinking, which again is fine. But my friends were like, come out, come out. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I've been walking around and seeing what it's like, I'm like, no. And I said to JP, we're going to sit there with these people, our friends, but we haven't seen them in quite a while. Who knows where they've been and what they've been doing? We've been self-isolating since March. No, it's just crazy. We have humidity here in South Carolina. Oh, do you? Ooh. Tell me a little thing about Disneyland. I've never been there, like the food. Um, it's hot and I'm not going to lie, it's uncomfortable. Oh. It's gonna be crazy, isn't it? Um, so, Barry, uh, the food, so the food probably at Disney, the food at Disney, Probably Disney Springs is a better example, giving you ideas of the food, is really good. So there's a whole variety of fish and chips from the UK in the Irish Reagan, 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 Irish Reagan pub, all the way to Cuban, Mexican, Italian, beautiful. I love Disney Springs is amazing and then every single hotel has its signature restaurants which again do amazing food from Indian cuisine, Persian cuisine to steaks and it's the best ever. It's quite expensive but it's amazing. Yes, hi mummy Gracie TV, how you doing? Don't forget to give a thank, love, thumbs up when you're coming in. I have lots of Irish in me, do you, Barry? So what's your favourite food? Hi, Mummy, how are you? You okay? Um, Choco, chocolate, hello. Oh my God, Jello, Jello I can't never say it. How I know, yeah, that one is my favourite place currently at Disney Springs. My wife, Amy, loves it. Never been in it, seen it, big massive one. Never been in it. Uh, potato, potatoes, 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 bit of mashed potato, butter, and cheese. Right, let me take this pasta again. I'm making ch pasta bake, everybody. This pasta is taking a long time to cook. Go in there, dudes. I've never been in there myself. Right, how much tuna do I need? Let me just come back out here, go to my pictures. Two hundred grams of tuna. How much is in one of these? I'm gonna do two of those. Speaking of pasta, pasta, is it right now? And she has a quadrilla, oh my god. Oh my god, exactly, Dan. Hi, Mummy Graham, I miss you too. Uh, the grandpa's shrimp and the tomato bread is delicious. It's a garlic shrimp. So when you say shrimp, you mean prawns, right? Sure, right? I'm a bread girl, so when you're talking breads and stuff, that sounds delicious to me. Oh, Barry saying hi to you. You eat 
Jason at the um, taco, the um, the van, the taco van. I don't know what it's called. But that's amazing. They did like a taco in a, in a cone. Oh my gosh. Um, yes, prawns, but we say shrimp for small shrimp. We say prawn. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love shrimp. <laughs> oh, I love shrimp. Whatever you call it, it sounds lush. Do you eat around Epcot? Do you, when you go to Epcot, get one of those food things and just go eating around Epcot? We've only eaten a few dishes. We've never gone like... Whoa! Turned up the pasta and it went mental, boiled over. Oh, bye Barry. Thank you for coming in. I really appreciate it, Barry. See you next time. Yow. Burnt the stove. Right. Um, bye Barry. Sometimes. Yeah. It's a bit expensive, right? Right, just let me see if it said a whole jar. Oh, it does. Whole jar. Wow. Right, we need a whole jar of pesto pasta. Uh, pesto, sorry. Woo. Do you know what? It's the first time I've cooked a meal from a recipe. Yeah, we like that. We sometimes, it's just, it's quite expensive, isn't it? Like, we'll go for the bow buns and things like that, but um, when you're paying like $8, $9, $10 for one little thing, I'd rather go offside and uh, get some food from Crossroads. We once went into Walmart. And um, we got one of their massive ready cooked pizzas for like about five dollars or something. We could not believe it. We were in our element. We were like, oh my god. <laughs> it was so funny. We were starving as well. And then we found our thank you, mummy. Um, we found Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, we were just like, holy cow, love it. And um Steak and Shake, is it Steak and Shake Burger? Steak and Shake Burgers? Yes, yeah, Steak and Shake. And then milkshakes. Oh, there's a little drive through just down outside Crossroads. Oh, and Manny's, Wednesday, buy one, get one free for heaters at Manny's. Oh, we've had this conversation before, haven't we? <laughs> Good job I'm eating. Clearly I'm hungry. Right, so pasta's got to go in there. Pesto, pesto. Oh, they said tomatoes. We need some tomatoes. Tuna juice. Right, we're going to put some tomatoes in. Tomato, as they say in America, tomato. Gizmo, come on. I love the steak and shake fries. Yes. Oh my gosh. So, and, and sweet tomato. Oh, I love sweet tomato. Oh my god. Just love, just love, 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 love. Right, cut up my tomatoes, my tomato, zucchini. <laughs> I love all your words. Zucchini, scallion. <laughs> we call them spring onions, you call them scallions. Oh, steak and shake, milkshake though, come on. How amazing are your milkshakes? And how about the red fire? Is it red fire or fire whatever the pizza place is in Universal City Hall? Yum. Yum, diddly, yum, yum, yum. Good 
good job on making dinner because I am starving. Right, so tomatoes are going in. Tomatoes, tomato are going in. Mix that all up as well. Jokey, but I love this. Looking good. Just me, Fifi. Hey, Han, see you tomorrow. See you later. Thanks for being here all this time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Are we going up to help pasta? Mm. Food just for JP, right? Don't think so. Good. Okay, cool. No, it's good because otherwise I'll be on here forever and I want to support you. At six o'clock, I need to sit and eat dinner with JP. And then I think Ben fans on. Um, I don't know if the Urban Cook's got a, hopefully, the Urban Cook hasn't got um, a premiere or anyone else has got a premiere tonight. <laughs> it gets so busy and I haven't been fishing. I need to fish as well. Right. Now where do we do the cheese? Do you reckon we sprinkle the cheese on? Go back. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. 100 grams of cheese. So stir a third of the cheese. Uh, okay, so just put some of the cheese in inside. This is 100 grams, but I know loads more than that. Um, da, da, da. Oh my gosh. All you gluten, dairy, yeasty people out there, including myself. I hope this doesn't hurt my belly. <laughs> I hope and pray this doesn't hurt my belly. Oh my gosh. Steve, I think you've got your little friends on for me, haven't you? Because there's no way I'd have this many people in my live stream. <laughs> Sometimes I do, but not always. I think Stevie Boy is helping me out. Oh wow, that looks so good. Another amazing dish today. Put some cheese on top. I am smashing the cooking and the baking today, people. I'm blowing this trumpet of mine. in the background and still supporting me. I really appreciate that. Thank you, everybody. I have to head out. Oh, thank you, sorry, in the middle. Well, we'll talk to you next. Uh, Dan could be in Disney, so keep an eye out for his vlogs. And I'll catch up on your latest ones as well, sorry, in the middle. See you later. Right, let's whack this in the oven. And then, um, yeah, oh, that's so cool. Uh, 60, 120, 240, so 10, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Right, uh, so leave that in there for five, so I've probably gone to high.
half five and then I'll stop and then everybody can get um, thingy. Soya, I don't know if you're still there. Thank you for my super chat. I'll, I'm definitely going to shout out to Soya in the middle as well for my super chat. That was really sweet. Super chat, chat, chat. Super chat, chat, chat. Right, St um, Steve, what are you having for dinner tonight? Do's and do's, what are you having for dinner tonight? Uh, what's everybody who else is still here? Mummy, Mummy Gray's TV, what are you having for dinner tonight? Mm. Let's share the food options. Just me, Fifi's gone. Oh, what are we all eating? Do you know what would be nice with this pasta with some garlic bread? I don't have any garlic bread. Oh, yummy garlic bread with more cheese. What is that? Uh, actually, I think I'll just do nine more minutes. Nine more minutes, guys. That's all you've got to hang on for. Nine more minutes, and then we're done. And then you can all go off and have your lovely day and the rest of the day. And, and I really appreciate all your support. Thank you. Nine more minutes. And then that'll be good. And then I've been on 200 minutes. Nearly two hours. No, nearly three hours, sorry. That's pretty cool. Host, I'm off to bed. Thank you, my everything, my journey. She has got a latest video out as well, everybody. If anyone go and see it and support her, the latest video is the end of her 30 day workout. Well done, you. Um, and thank you for supporting me. Appreciate that. See you next time. Bye. Yeah, she's got a new video video out, guys, which is her end of a 30 day workout. How good is that? So LS Crew was telling me about um, uh, Joe Wick's HIIT workout. So, okay, looked at it this morning, getting ready down here to try it out. Beginner's HIIT session, all right? Oh, no, you're very welcome, my everything, my, my journey. So I went to start this HIIT session this morning with Joe Wick's. It said beginner's warm-up. So the warm-up consisted of um, jogging on spot, not too much, not too much of an issue. This is still the warm up. Then you go out with your legs a little bit wide and you do that to each leg. Not an issue. Touch your toes and walk forward. How is that a beginner's session? That's not beginner's, come on. That is so not beginner's. Beginner's session is your fan, can handle that. Warming yourself up, touching your toes is not beginner's, no. And then walking forward and walking back. He said you should be able to do that. If you can't, I turned it off. I just went in my running machine and just walked and went on my Peloton. Joe Wicks, if you're watching my video, consult with me if you like about a fit beginner's session and I will tell you what that consisted of. I've been doing fitness now since I was 18. It's quite a long time. I have a lot of experience. <laughs> Oh my goodness. LS Crew, when I see you, I'm going to be talking to you, matey. And I think it was also Fit to Fab, Fit to Fab, Fit to Fab, Fit to Fab. He was talking about it as well. No. So not good. Crazy. <sighs> so my pesto pasta smells delicious. And I'll earn some money today as well. Three pounds eighty. Pretty damn good. Hi there, Jeremy's autistic vlogs. How are you doing today? Welcome. Come on in. Drop your link. Nice to see you. To see you, nice. That's my virtual cuddle. <laughs> what have you been up to, Jeremy? Anything exciting? Put the Mickey on. Just rocky. Jeremy, you've missed all the fun. We've made chocolate fondant and pesto pasta bake, which is in the oven right now. You missed it all, matey. We have been a rocking and a rolling. There's still some dried pasta here. My hubby is going to be so happy tonight. You've been training in the backyard. Ooh, what training have you been doing, Jeremy? We've just been talking fitness. I've just been talking about um, doing a beginner's fit class that was not a beginner's fit class. No way, shape or form was it a beginner's fit class. 
So what have you been doing, Jeremy? Squats? Have you been doing a hit class? Hit class? Not hit class, hit class. Jeremy's dropped his link. The proof is in the video. Ooh, you've done a video, Jeremy. Excellent. Is that the link you just dropped to your latest video? I'm uploading a video. It's due to go Wednesday. It will be going live. And then I'm popping out tomorrow to the local shops to get some August inspirations. And then I'm gonna do, I don't know when Steve, we're gonna do this live stream. Oh, or does JP. Have you ever used Trip It app for travel? No, what is it? If it's Disney and stuff, we use the normal Disney app. No, Trip It app for travel, definitely not. I've got to send this menu to um, Urban Cook and I think I'll probably do it Wednesday, Keisha Rain Wednesday. He's not busy. <laughs> so exciting. No, do's and do's. Tell me all about it. What is it? It sounds intriguing. Does it give me cheap holidays? Jeremy, that link you dropped, was it to your new video? Pause in all your travel from emails, you can send your itinerary and it puts it all together. Ooh, love that idea. I'll have a look at it. Let me screenshot. I just screenshotted, screenshot it, is that such a word? I still can't believe you're going to Disney. And then Sim and uh, John are off, aren't they? In uh, 16 days time as well. Everyone around me, you'll be coming back and they'll be getting ready to go. Everybody around me is going to Disney. Waiting for a cable to be delivered, ooh. How exciting the Urban Cook, no. Air shuttle, train, hotel, oh okay. On um, Urban Cook Steve, I'll send you that recipe in a bit. Once I come off air, I'll send you it. So exciting. We'll probably do it uh, Wednesday if you want. You, you tell me when you want to do it, but I should have everything for Wednesday, I reckon. Because when I pop out tomorrow, I'll get my tin. I'll pop to a cheeky, cheeky um, Asda, Asda Rooney. I'll start Rooney and get me tin. Yeah. Yeah. Air shuttle, train and hotel. Mmm. So it's like a wallet. I'll have to have a look. I will have a look and I'll see what JP says. It's funny when you're um, so many notifications that just come up on my YouTube. My girlfriend should be here in a few seconds. Oh, that's nice, Jeremy. Yeah, when I get the cable low and the ingredients, as my phone cuts out on the wife. No worries, honestly, Steve, it's cool. Not a problem. It gives you a schedule. It's free as well. Well, we love a freebie. Yeah, I'll have a look straight after here. We love a freebie for sure. Hey, yeah, fine, you? Oh, uh, put the weather. 
where the weather. Well then don't do it, it's going to rain tonight anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to rain tonight. I'm um, still doing my live, I'm just finishing off my live, but I cooked pasta bake and I cooked a chocolate fondant. Mmm, it's quite nice. No, he's out tonight, staying out tonight. Hold on a minute guys, mama's again. Lesser. Bless the cotton socks. Let's just make sure I've unmuted you. Yes, I've unmuted you. <gasps> Ooh, pixelated. Grey. That's how I feel. Grey. Uh, they have a paid version, but free is fine for recreational. Ooh, sapphire plum tree. Hello. Oh, is that your girlfriend? Is that your girlfriend, Jeremy? Oh, hold on a minute. Let's go back to that. Oh, hello, Sapphire. How are you? Speaking of which, that's her now. Ah, oh, nice to meet you. If you drop your link, everybody here will um, dance with you. Ah, oh, that's a lovely name, isn't it? Sapphire Plumley, the autism. Um, Angel Club. Ah, oh, that sounds lovely. Well, you've missed some great stuff today. We've done chocolate fondant and we've done a lovely pasta bake. Oh, this is a weird filter. Let me take that off. There you go. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun today. Have you all have both had a good day? Jeremy said he's been doing a uh, video, exercise video. Yes, uh, Dan, I'll have a look at it. When, um, I'll definitely have a look. Yeah, I'm not going to pay for the paid version though. If I can do it cheap as chips and free, that's the way to go. Jeremy, was um, your girlfriend helping you out on your, uh, your video? Yeah, I'll definitely go for the freebie. If anybody wants to share this out, we've got a few more minutes, share out, drop your links, uh, make sure everyone's connected with you, there's people in the background, yeah. Dan, I didn't know whether to do, because um, I've done this a month or two months now, I think I've been monetized two months, I didn't know whether to do a video on um, how much you get paid when you've been monetized and like the real facts like um like i haven't earned anything in two months to show you like the real raw do you think i should do it or not do it i don't know whether to do it or not i don't think like it'd be a long video but i just want to show people even though you're monetized doesn't mean to say that you're going to get a paycheck and like what the price criteria is to get that paycheck and show my stats what do you think i need watch out so much i know anyone wants to run my playlist um i'll run your playlist tonight then me and her have been doing a few collaborations using instagram then we both take our videos that we make on instagram and put them on youtube ah oh, see now i need to do the opposite jeremy i need to take my videos from youtube yt and put them on instagram because i've actually got quite a big instagram following um, on one of my pages, but they're not really interested. But I want to build up my lifestyle page, KPJP Lifestyle, and I need to put my videos over there. So yeah, I'm doing the opposite. I haven't worked out how to do it yet though. Really? You can do it. Yeah, no, no, I'll do your playlist tonight, Dan. Don't worry. I'll run them for the next few days for you. Do you know, I sometimes don't think think of these things. So when you, when you ask, it trigger in my head and then I'll just run them for you. Yeah, I ran my VIP groups last night, so they would have all got, I run them from 9 till 12 today, so 15, 16 hours worth, that's like 11 of them, um, and then I'll run yours and mine tonight. 
What's all doodles bed? Oh, that's your playlist. Yeah, 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 that's fine. I'll do it for you. You, I run it all week for you. You should notice a little bit of a difference. I'll do it at the same time that I run mine. You just need to keep doing the lives because do you see how many um, watches you get when you do a live? So you get your two days worth or your three days worth. You need to do what like Fen Fan did where they wrote on the board 4,000 watch hours and then they broke down how many days it take to get there. How does watch hours work? Like, is it minutes? Yes, minutes. It's broken down into minutes, Dan. On YouTube Studio, when you look on, um, on your PC, because you get more functionality, don't you, on your PC device than you do on your phone or iPad, it gives you a better breakdown of uh, the minutes and stuff that has been watched. I don't know if Steve's still here, he might know a little bit more technically more than me, but yeah, for sure. Can we worked it out, like 4,000 watched hours, how many minutes that was, and then Sim and uh, John, on their board, broke that down to how many days, how many hours per day, oh, Urban Pick's still here, cool, we'll talk about watch hours, Steve, how many hours per day that would need them to watch, and then that's why they were doing something like four or six hours a day, seven days a week, to get their watch time, to get their, meet that target. I don't like to be overcooked. Yeah, so that's what they did. I got my watched hours when um, I was vlogging on my cruises and my Florida trips, and I actually didn't know about watch hours back then. It was just my subs. So my bananas were so low, I think I had 200 bananas, and then I... Um, I was helped grow that to the thousand and because I already had my watch hours that wasn't the issue for me because I'd already put up 300 of videos from cruising and Disney although the Disney isn't a big hit for people watching my Disney videos they were more interested in the cruising videos cruising videos got loads of views you can see someone like 11,000 8,000 my cruising videos whereas Disney um, even one of my Disney ones now, I think it was a review of the hotel or food, and I think I've got about 100 views. It's just crazy. Yeah, I know. Don't forget you can run your own. You do run your own live stream, yes? Um, you run your own playlist overnight as well. So don't forget you can do that, or during the day, like when you're on now, just run your, play your playlist. It all helps. Um, you might only get eight hours for running it today, but you just run it. Just can I still do that? I run my playlist every night. Every night I run my playlist. Not that I need to watch hours or anything, but you know. Um, the other thing you can do if you're willing to shed some money is what FenFan did. They paid for a campaign. So I think they paid 20 quid a week, which they cocked up a little bit if you've heard Sim's story, but paid 20 quid a week on a couple of videos and that gets your views and watch hours up as well. So if you want to shed out some money, that's what you could do. Um, do some do some you connected with Sapphire. Right, we're going to go 40 more minutes. Oh, do I do 40 more minutes or should I stop? Oh, I don't know. Silver Crow the Gamer, hey, hey. What is that through? What, running my playlist? Oh, campaigns. On YouTube, it says, um, in YouTube, it says, do you want to advertise or do you want to run? I'll look for it for you and I'll 
screen show it, but FenFam, when they're on at six o'clock tonight, you can ask them, they, they'll be able to tell you. Very well, thank you, Silver Crow the Gamer. Had a really good day, we've made chocolate fondant, had done a pasta bake, beautiful. Had a really productive Monday, it's been absolutely epic. How has your day been, Silver Crow? How's your day been, matey? Um, Sapphire Plumley, the Autistic Angel Group. Doesn't look like your link's working, unfortunately. So, Dan, when you're in Disney, are you going to put your wife on video as well, or is it just going to be all you? Will your wife want to come on, like when you're on the Skyliner? Have you got to just video you, or are you videoing your wife as well? Oh, yeah, you might have to be, actually, Dan. Oh, Silver Crow, that's pretty rubbish. But you've been working on making episodes of Marvel Superman game. Well, that's pretty awesome. Migraine's not so great, but what you've been doing sounds epic. Sounds like loads of fun. My wife is stuck working. Should I come into Disney with you? No, you're going to Disney on your own. Oh my gosh, even better then. <laughs> oh, well, well, that's not better actually because it's nice going with your partner, isn't it? She was going to go, but sad. Yeah, that is sad actually. It's not great. Oh, dude. But it's only a couple of days. Yeah. Oh, but it's still sad though. I would hate to go to Disney without JP. But if we were living out there, I'd be there every day, so bye-bye. <laughs> I'll be there every day while he's working. But then my YT channel probably should be quite huge and I'll be paying for myself. So it'd be like a job slash. <laughs> oh, matey. Well, that's nice, dudes. Do you know what? Loads of people just go in. Tim Tracker goes there on his own. Everybody goes in there on their own. It doesn't really matter, does it? Like... I, as I've got older, I've started talking to myself more and I'm just getting on with my own, just me, you know, when I went out last Tuesday to Blue Water and stuff, I'm talking to myself all over the place. <laughs> oh no, what's going on? Oh yeah, it's, chat, it's sad. I love the Disney from back in the days. Oh, Silver Crow. Yeah, we do. Yeah, it's only two days, Dan, so it's not too much of an issue. And it'll go quite quick. And you can see it's a, a working one now because you're going to do loads of vlogging and you're going to do loads of stuff like that. So it's better that way. No, not this uh, new Disney movies these days. You're not a fan of the new Disney movies? You like the old style? Yeah. I'll do my favourites. Buy some mugs and eat some food and go home. Yeah, exactly, dude. Well, you don't even have to go to restaurants, do you? There's enough places that you just pop up where you can just go and get some food and just get on with it, don't you? You don't even have to go in a restaurant if you feel uncomfortable. I don't think I would eat in a restaurant if it was me on my own, but I would go to the pop-ups for sure. I'd go and eat. I'd just go and eat in Disney Springs and get my um, Wetzel pretzel pizza mm. and Starbucks and... Uh, uh, all my other yummy stuff that I love that I can't think of at the moment. It's a lot of work to film. It is a lot to film, exactly. Silver Crow, well I love the ones like Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin and Little Mermaid. I love the new Aladdin. The new Aladdin's nice. Yeah, definitely do they Uber Eats. Yes, they do do Uber Eats. Yeah, they do, Dan. Yeah, or go through Chick-fil-A or go through all the dry crews. Aladdin was awesome, Silver Crow. It was so good. It's hard to do a rewrite of an old movie. If you're of that era and you know it so well, you want to make sure it's right. Like Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast and putting that actress from Harry Potter in, I was like, nah, that ain't going to work. No, 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 no. But she did an okay job. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And we can check out Ellie... Um, we can check Ellie out for walks and stuff. Yes, exactly. 
Oh, Ellie probably would love the pet care centre though, would she? She's probably thinking, oh, I'm on holiday as well. But at least this way, exactly, your wife can still take her out and keep her stuff. But no play genie like Robin Williams. True, exactly. Robin Williams was the one and only. Yeah, absolutely. No one can replace an actor like that. It's just amazing. I was watching a Ben Stiller film the other day, and Ben Stiller, um, and the, I can't think of the other actors. People like that, uh, it was Jennifer Aniston. Those films are just so good, and those actors are just brilliant. I love those sort of films. So good. Oh, doggy ice cream. Kiss my eyes, doggy ice cream. Going to run your playlist. Uh, with my friends. Oh, Urban Cook. See? Dudes and dudes. You have to give them a special little present to say thank you, dudes and dudes. Hercules. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's Aladdin. I just put Aladdin and Hercules together then. Did you see that mashup? Yes. I'm getting so close to 1K. I have to focus on hours. Dudes. Urban Cook's going to run your playlist for you with his little friends. That's so nice of you, Steve. I love the songs back the old movies. Yes. I, do you know what? I love them all. I love um, Rapunzel, Entangled. I love... Um, I really want to see Mulan. Mulan's been pushed out to next year, right? But Mulan isn't going to be a musical at all, which I think is going to be really interesting to watch. Well, do if you know it's taken you a month to get to a thousand watch hours. So if you do a month for the next three, so you'll be done by October or November. You'll be fine. I'll play you as well. You'll be cool. Hey, everyone's here to help each other, aren't they? That's what I've always said on my LS. People are here to support each other. It's just a shame that the people that I've supported over the months don't come and support me anymore i don't know what i've done i've obviously upset them i don't know how but they don't come and support me ever 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 <laughs> it's crazy okay so it's been two months to get to 600 all right well that's cool it's all right you're still going to be within the year you have a year to get to your watch hours so once you start getting up all your other videos as well, and don't forget, you've only just been putting up all your lovely videos and your unboxing videos are going to be a hit. Yeah, some people just drop off. It's true. Uh, but they have no Mushu Mulan. It's not Mulan without Mushu Eddie Murphy. True. I've got that on my desk upstairs, Mushu mug. Yeah. Hey, people come, people go, um, we just have to take it. I'm trying hard to get my uh, mind to grow. Yes, Silver Crow, it's hard, right? It's very difficult. Um, thank you, Silver Crow, I appreciate that. I have 108 on my playlist. Cool, that's good, that'll run all night then. I think I have 300 odd. <laughs> I think Steve was like, yeah, I'm day five and I'm still running your playlist, KP. <laughs> I was like, thanks, Steve. <laughs> uh, not all the pet. Hey, Silver Crow, it's cool. Oh, that's not good. No, don't be sorry. Hey, just popping in every now and again is still cool. It's you're not the people that I'm talking about, it's other people that I've been there through right at the very beginning, supporting, and I still support now, but they don't support me, it's fine. Hey, it's a doggy dog world at the end of the day, isn't it? As long as I do the best that I can, and know that I'm really true to myself, and to the people that I support, that's all that matters. Don't you dare be sorry. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Right, my lovelies, I've been on for two hours and 20, so two hours and 20, no, 
220 minutes. So I'm going to end it there. Do's and do's. I'll probably see you at FenFam or I'll see you around. But thank you very much everybody for coming today. And if I don't see you tomorrow, thank you. And um, Urban Cook, I'm going to send over my stuff to you. Yes, Silver Crow. My family is staying very, very safe. Thank you. Um, we're just wearing masks everywhere and not going out really. Husband's still working at home, which is awesome. Yeah, we're just sort of chilling really. Thank you, Silver Crow. Do's and do's and Urban Cook, thank you for your support throughout the whole of this live stream. I really appreciate it. And anybody else in the background who I've not shouted out, thank you to you as well. Um, let me just go through my thingy and, you know, uh, my lovely super chatters today as well. I'll oh, see you all later. Yeah, have a lovely evening, everybody. See you later, alligators. See you later, Silver Crow. See you on the next one.